Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. As always, gonna test for sound. And come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's see what commercial I get tonight. Hold on. The commercial that apparently belong bespoke post. Oh boy. You gotta be a real man for bespoke post. That's my ad tonight. You guys should look up bespoke post. So let's make sure my sound is working. Great. All right. Let's get started. Busy night again tonight. Want to thank everyone that got into the break. We've been waiting a little while for this one. We got delayed a week. Made the break announcement early this week on Tuesday. We're sitting all the way on Sunday. I'm sure you guys have seen some Don Russ ripped between Friday and tonight. So... Probably not new, new, but um, if you haven't seen it, we're going to see three boxes tonight. We also got a personal for tools, 360. So, like I said, a lot to get to. Um, so, uh, let's see. A couple things going on in the sports world. Hope you guys are filling out your brackets tonight. Ohio State, I was watching that game earlier today, see if they would win the Big Ten Championship, and they did not. Illinois was the better team at the end, but the Buckeyes gave them all they could. So the Buckeyes go in as a two seed. Um, if you're asking me, I don't know that anyone beats Butler this year, but hey, it's March Madness for a reason. Let's see. Tools is already here, so we'll probably do Tools uh, personal to start off the night. And then, um, so let's see. In baseball, obviously we got a bunch of spring training going around. Uh, Brandon Nimmo is the current batting champion of this of spring training dude's batting like almost 500 um and baron laura a hope for a speedy recovery for him got in a car accident in the dominican republic kind of a uh kind of a weird story coming out of the dominican if it wasn't for the fact that the minors are delayed he probably would have been in camp already so time and unforeseen circumstances befall us all however i hope he has a speedy recovery he's in a Dominican hospital in serious condition. So he is one of the big prospects for Texas. Um, he was drafted, I believe, in 2019 out of the uh, international draft. So hopefully he has a speedy recovery and comes out okay. But that is a bummer to hear. And uh, let's see. So yeah, the big thing, March Madness. So I hope you guys are doing your brackets. And for uh, the fantasy sports leagues, I think we have our first draft next Sunday. So we're one week away from our first draft in fantasy baseball. That should be fun. Uh, let's see. Let's say ho some hellos for the evening. We've got KC9, Steel City, and Mr. Zach Poopa in the house. Clark Sports Cards, how you doing, bud? Um, already mentioned tools, but tools, hope you had a good weekend. Um, and Dan... We are definitely going to see some Don Rust tonight. And Brandon, how are you today? Hopefully you had a good weekend as well. So as we wait for some people to pour in, being that we have tools uh, here already, tools, but a personal blaster of top series one. So we are going to do a personal for him. And this is the Walmart where you get the exclusive Royal Blue base card parallels. So, um... We're going to do that for him, and then we're going to get to and then we'll get to the breaks. We got break one, break two, three breaks tonight. So another busy night here on the channel should be fun. I have opened a personal uh, box for myself of Don Russ. Definitely a cool product. It's always fun to rip. Um, so it should be it should be no different tonight. Uh, I'm looking for the ultra rare mysterious insert that they have. But hey, if we can get a whammy, I'll take that too. Um, tons of numbered parallels, all sorts of different parallels. You got Liberty emoji parallels. You've got the COVID-19 mask parallel. So it should be fun. But before we do that, let's get to tools personal. And that is the 2021 series one blaster. So tools, thank you for getting that. If anyone is ever interested in personals, um, I do try and rip them at like the beginning of the streams. If we've got a lot, I'll kind of, you know, Kind of uh, sequence them out throughout the night, but we have one tonight. We may have one later on tonight with Shalani. He may actually get another Don Russ uh, personal hobby. 
We'll see. I don't know. Being that we lost an hour of sleep last night, and it is a school night for my children. We'll see where we're at and break three and see if I'm down to do a fifth box on the night. But while we wait for everyone to get in on the break so we can get a nice hot stove on the trade market, let's do tools personal of 2021 tops series one and we'll even give you the coupons and if you can actually use them you can actually use them in the store series one seems to be sort of available depending on where you live in retail so you might be able to use them um, and throughout the season you'll be able to use them on basically any product um, that they have out you can use those coupons for basically anything so let's get to it um tools good luck and thank you again for getting in and this is how we are going to start the night and mr brad how are you tonight let's see who else we got big money big money no whammies no wait wait hold on we do want whammies whammies are what we want tonight so let's see what the first card of the night is going to be well if this is any indication should be a good night that right off the bat is a christian Pache. Rookie card. We're going to take that to the bank. Very first card of the night. First top loaded card as well. So, not going to start a card going. I'm going to put this over here. Um, but we get a Christian Pache. We'll take that any day of the week. Um, and let's see. Future Hall of Famer Miguel Cabrera, Adam Pluco, Gio Gonzalez, Wilson Contreras. And we have for tools a Gio Urshela, Francisco Mejia, Kyle Seeger. Matt Stassi and a Glaber Torres 52. Milwaukee Brewers team card. Shun Yamaguchi, Jack Flaherty, and Chris Archer for pack number one of the blaster. So a nice pache to start off that first pack. Are the coupons good for frozen pizza? Um <laughs> they might be good to hold some frozen pizza with after you cook it. <laughs> so um if you have any more 2020 chrome updates sign me up for a personal uh, um i think i might have some um i would have to check i'm gonna update the personals for tomorrow so if we do that we'll do that in the next stream because it's a lot of breaking tonight mitch moreland um there's a nice mike trout and as you all know on this channel trout gets immediate sleeves um, we're going to go a little bit faster. We're not going to sleeve everything right off the bat. Uh, Shane Bieber, league leader card. Matt Boyd. Belly. J.D. Davis. And a Roman Quinn. Tommy Edmond. And we have a through the years Aaron Judge, big league baseball. Steven Strasburg, 52. Yankees team card. Andrew Benintendi. John Gray. And Chadwick Trump, rookie card for the Giants. It's not too much in that pack. Not sure if I like that through the years. I'm so undecided about it. They got really cool cards on it, but then it's like a baseball card of a baseball card. And Inception doesn't come out till next week, so I don't understand. <laughs> Luke Voigt, Josh Reddick, Bruce Starr, greater role. Andreas Jimenez, that's a nice rookie. And we also have, right after that, the one, the only, Magic Nick, Nick Magical. Nightshade is in the house. Nightshade, how you doing tonight? Um, so yeah, Steel City, I will let you know. Um, I'll update that probably here, either tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, I just got to get around to it. I haven't done it in a while. I know it's been since like the beginning of March. Um, I've been so busy doing the, with all the sets that are coming out, I've been spending a lot of free time doing the, uh, there's Joey Gallo, doing the set guides that I have not updated the personals list. Liam Hendricks, Colin Moran, and we have a Bryce Harper home run derby card. And there's a nice one right there, the 1952 design, Alec Bohm. I was doing a pack war. Not sure if you guys saw it the other day, but I was doing a pack war with my son, uh, just opening one pack each. And in the one pack he opens, um, he pulled the Alec Bohm image variation. Very nice, very nice card. That's like a hundred dollar card. He had no idea what he pulled. He couldn't pronounce the name. And I'm like, dude, you don't even know, man. So I took pictures, put it on the Discord. 
There's the elbows only. He was pretty stoked. Now he wants to get it graded. Um, so then on Friday, I went on HGA because I kind of want to try HGA's grading because I just like the look of them. I don't know if they're going to be valuable or not. There's a Scherzer um, and a Dodgers card. But I got on, I think you can go on Thursday nights and Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And you kind of get into this waiting room. I was number 5,800 and something. And they only have 2,000 card spots available. And each spot is allowed to do up to five cards. So I got off there pretty quick because I was like, well, I have no chance. So I may never get to use uh, HGA as a grading service unless they can expand their um, their footprint a little bit, which would be nice. We got Stack Pat Mountain House. Steve Thompson, how are you? Here's a James Kepper. Uh, I'll never be able to say it. Uh, Cap Relian. And we have an Alec Bohm base rookie card as well. So starting off nice with a couple bones in the house. Give those a quick top load as well. I think I like the 52 ones actually better than the base, but the base is going to hold more value. We've got a Gavin Lux future star. We've got a Raciel Iglesias. Pitching for the Angels now. Kenta Maeda. Omar Navarez, Orlando Arcia, and our first blue parallel is going to be the do it for the fans. So this is a Chicago White Sox checklist card, I believe. It is Eloy Jimenez and Luis Robert on the card. Kind of a cool one there. Then we have a very nice 1986 Kyle Lewis. We'll give that one a sleeve as well. And a 1952 Dylan Carlson. So a very nice pack coming out right here. So the D Dylan Carlson for tools. There we go. And as is typical with the cardboard gold top loaders, a little bit of plastic residue on some of them. So we'll get that cleaned off. But there's a nice Dylan Carlson. And we have Garrett Richards, Mr. DeGrom, searching for another Cy Young this year, Jock Peterson. And we'll try it. Let's do this. You guys can actually see the card. There's Jock Peterson. Kyle Dufford, uh, uh, Duffield, how you doing? Viking in the house and a Jacob DeGrom League leaders. Viking, I'm a big fan of yours too. Viking actually sold a big lot of stuff over to KC Nation. Casey Nation was over the moon about the lot, so that was cool to see. So Viking, a great member of the community. Check them out sometime. David Bodie, uh, John Lester, Starling Marte. Here's a playful bout of juniors. And an Evan White rookie card. Jesse Winkler. Looks like we're going to have a chrome coming up, which is awesome. Luis Garcia rookie card. And we have a backwards card this is going to be an advanced stats card numbered 168 out of 300 for lewis brinson of the marlins so this advanced stats if you're not familiar basically if you look real careful right here it gives all the advanced stats so this one's got batted ball events exit velocity max his exit velocity has kind of been consistent over the last two years Barreled up balls, all sorts of advanced stats that have become so prevalent in baseball. They're actually maybe more prevalent than your traditional stats. They've been doing this for a few years on the advanced stats. The cool part about them, they are all numbered. This one's numbered 168 out of 300 for Lewis Brinson. And right behind that, we have the Topps Chrome 1952 Josh Donaldson. A nice Josh Donaldson Chrome. And we have a Paul Goldschmidt 52. Future stars Brendan McKay, Tyler Chatwood. There we go. Ronald Acuna Jr., who I have graduated to. You must leave it status for the 2021 season. Very cool card there. Just laying it all out, trying to get to, I'm assuming, second in Yuli Gurio. Jeff Pullins, the one spot hot shot is in the house. Next pack. This is a tools personal, by the way, if you're just joining us. And then we're going to get to the three Don Russ breaks for the night. We've got Brandon Workman, Bobby Dalbeck, who has become maybe the first rookie darling of the 2021 card season. 
having a fantastic spring. Don't read too much into it, but Bobby Dahlbeck definitely starting the spring off right. So he's headed in the right direction. We've got Danny Duffy and there's a Joe Adele rookie card. So a nice Joe. Joe Adele actually left the game yesterday. He should be okay. Smashed into a wall um, trying to make a catch and said he felt something, but they did x-rays and everything. They didn't see anything, so it looks like Joe Adele may have escaped injury. He probably is not going to be starting in the majors, but expect to call up at some point this season, especially if he's hitting in the minors. I believe he should spend half the season in the minors just to kind of get him right. But we'll see what the Angels do. Carter Keyboom, Evan Longoria, Mikolas, and we have J.D. Martinez, and Ernie Banks Cool one here. This is the 70 years of tops. Um, let's see who can guess what year this is. I believe, yep, 2015 flagship was the largest in years 700 cards. And then we have the Mookie Betts 1952 and Ian Kennedy, Shane Bieber, League Leader, Hands Up, Masks Up, and Manny Machado. Machado, I believe, is going to have a fantastic season. Okay, so here we go. Last pack for tools. Tools, good luck on this last pack. Let's get some last pack mojo going. We've got two Alec Bohm, some Joe Adele, some Dylan Carlson already. We should have a blue parallel in here. A Tyler Stevenson rookie, an Eddie Alvarez rookie, and a Casey Mize rookie. Which is interesting because normally you get Sixto and Casey next to each other, but we didn't in this instance. But Casey Mize, nice rookie card there as well for tools. Uh, so we'll take that. We got Casey and we've got Ahmed Rosario, Hector Neris, Harrison Bader, D. Strange Gordon, and our blue parallel. Gonna be a Yadir Molina, future Hall of Famer. Take that one. So Yadir Molina is gonna be the other blue Walmart exclusive parallel for tools. And our next one is a pretty nice one. Always good to get a rainbow foil rookie. This is James Capralian. I believe that is how you say his last name. And it is a rainbow foil parallel. So if you're going to get them, always good to get the rookies or the Hall of Fame or something like that. So a nice rookie there for tools as well. A little bit of that last pack mojo coming through. Nightshade says he retired earlier this year. Yeah, he did retire. And we have an Eloy Jimenez, 52. A Juan Soto also graduated to sleeve it status for the 2021 season. So we have three official people on the must-leave-it status. Trout, Soto, Acuna, which will also be the top three picks in your 2021 fantasy baseball draft. If it's not, it's a travesty. Detroit Tigers, Josh Harrison, and Jose Urena to round out the base cards and base packs. But we do still have one more to go, and that is our Relic, which is included in every blaster. So let's do this and see who we get for the Relic. This is the 70th anniversary patch, and it will be a nice one. Mr. Jackie Robinson, number 42, number retired across all of Major League Baseball. It is a base, but a nice Jackie Robinson. We'll take that to the bank for tools. Let's get him a thick sleeve for this. And, you know... When I do this, sometimes it's easier just to give it the snip so we don't screw up any of the corners. But a nice Jackie Robinson 70th anniversary patch relic for tools. So tools, thank you very much for the personal getting in on that. Like I said earlier, if any of you are interested, over on the Discord, there is the there is the personal section that you can kind of find stuff. I will get it updated. It hasn't been updated in a couple of weeks, so I will get it updated on there. But some quick highlights, and we'll sleeve all of these. Um, but we get the Jackie Robinson, James Capralian, Rainbow Foil Rookie Card, Yadir Molina Blue, Casey Mize Rookie, Joe Adele Rookie. 
we get the Lewis Brinson advanced stats numbered 168 out of 300. Dylan Carlson, 52 rookie, the Alec Bohm rookie, and the Alec Bohm 52 rookie. And we started it with a Christian Pache. So some very nice rookies out of that pack. Basically, most of the big ones. Um, so that is all for tools and his personal. So I believe most people have kind of filtered in. Jolly Oyster, what's going on? Who else has got in here? We got Mr. Shalaney in. And let's see, um, who else we got in here? Um, getting to the teams and selections done. Yeah, um, okay, so here's how we're going to do this. This is going to be break one, break two, break three. So we'll take one off the top. We'll take the other two off screen. And like we always do, let me tell you who was in break one. We've got Tyler C. We've got Jeff Pullins. We've got Larry O, Zach P, Aaron M, Tom E, A E, uh, Tom Edwards, uh, Matt P, Clark Sports Cards, and Brewers 34 GC. And just coming in, we've got Mr. Captain John's card. Ahoy, matey. Good to see you tonight. Hope you had a good weekend. And uh, as we always do, we will roll the Pokemon dice. We're going to roll it two times. First time is going to be for the team randomization. However many times shows up on the dice is how many times we're going to randomize the teams. Then we'll do it again for the break participants. Same thing. However many times that the dice shows, that's how many times we will randomize the break participants. And that will tell us who gets what team. So without further, oh, by the way, if we roll a one, we're going to roll it again because we're going to randomize more than one time. So let's do it. Um, this one's going to be for teams. And that was a really weak roll, but I did roll a two. Next time I'll actually try and make it to the box, but we're going to randomize teams twice. So let's get to that. And so here's random. Here is everyone in the break. Let's do that. There we go. Here's everyone in the break. Here's all the teams. Oh, and look at that. Someone didn't alphabetize them. Should we alphabetize them? I don't think it matters. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Do this. So it's almost like an extra randomization there. I, for, I thought I had... Well, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, okay, so here we go. We're going to randomize it twice. One and two. We're going to end up with the Padres on the top and the A's on the bottom. So that is what happens when you copy paste from prior break spot, prior break sheets and don't alphabetize the teams first. Um, okay, but not that it's a huge deal, but I'll do better next time. So for I'll bet you, let's see, I'll bet you it's like that for all three breaks. Let's see. Yep, it is like that for all three breaks. What are we gonna do? It's the end of the world. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Let's get back here. Let's roll these dice again. Let me get chat pulled back up. See how many of you are mad at me for not alphabetizing. Definitely give a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. Um, especially when, if we pull a mysterious, everyone in this room had better. All right. We at least hit the box this time. We got a four. So we will randomize the break participants four times. And I think I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys tonight. We'll see if it works, if it doesn't work. But I think I actually have figured out how to get the break participants on screen while we're breaking. I think I figured it out. If it works, it's going to be great. If it doesn't, I'm going to press the eject button and we're going to do it the way we've always done it. But we'll see. So all right, here's our break participants. In the order that they bought into the break, let's get a new list going. All right, here we go. We said four times, one and two and three and four. So there we go. We got Matt P on the bottom and Tom on the top. We'll dump all this in. We're gonna hide this. And then we'll now we'll now we'll alphabetize. 
which is the way it should have been from the beginning. Not sure why it wasn't, but here's how we ended up for break number one. Let me get chat pulled up. We are going to open it up for trades right now. So if you're interested in trading, all you got to do, hit up someone else that has the team that you want. If they're willing to trade it and you guys agree on it, I just need to have someone say, or both of you say, hey, confirmed. And then the two teams and Mr. Steel City DW comes in with a $20 super chat. Thank you very much for that, Steel City. Hoping for that mysterious mojo. I'm telling you, if we pull one tonight, um, there are, with all the people that have broke all weekend, Don Russ, as of this afternoon, there were only two of them on eBay. So that tells you how rare they are. Because if they were any easier, you would probably see pages and pages of them already, but I've only seen two. So if we get one tonight, it is going to be, we are hitting the foghorn for sure. That is without a doubt. But Steel City, thank you very much for the $20 super generous super chat. Let's get you a mojo. It would be awesome. The mysterious, ultra rare SSSP super print would just be awesome. So here we go. The Angels going to Mr. Larry O. The Astros going to Aaron. We've got the A's going to Matt P. Blue Jays going to Larry. Braves going to Tyler C. Brewers going to Matt P. Cardinals going to Larry O. Cubs and Diamondbacks to Tyler. Dodgers going to Brewers 34 GC. Giants going to Matt P. Indians going to Zach P. The Mariners going to the one spot hotshot Jeff Pullins. We've got the Marlins going to Tyler C. The Mets going to Aaron. Nationals going to Zach Orioles and Padres going to Tom E. And then we've got the Phillies going to Brewers 34 GC. Pirates to Clark Sports Cards. Rangers to Tom E. Rays to Tyler C. Red Sox to Brewers 34. We've got Aaron getting the Reds. Uh, Rockies and Royals to Matt P. Clark Sports Cards pulling down the Tigers and the Twins. The White Sox going to Larry O. And the Yankees going to Matt P. So, Zach Pupa comes out of the block saying... Nationals and Indians are up for grabs. Larry says, super set with his draft. Uh, Indians for Dodgers or Yankees. Shalani, are you in any of the breaks tonight? Um, he is not. Interestingly enough, Shalani may get a personal. I don't know. I actually kind of told him, well, let's see where we're at. Let's see how fast we get through all these breaks. Um, it's a school day tomorrow. And I actually got to send the kids to school, which actually means I got to get up, feed them and actually get them out of a house, which after a year of not doing any of that stuff, that seems like much more difficult than it used to be. <laughs> so, um, three on eBay now, two starting at 500, the trout at 90 bucks with four days left. So there's three on their net. Yeah. So they are really hard pulls. You can get the case hit, which is the whammy, which is a really nice hit as well. We'll see if we get one of those. It would be awesome. We got a whammy last year. We're guaranteed to get um, two autographs and a memorabilia card. Uh, technically, you can get three autographs, but I think most of the boxes are kind of breaking down. That you get two two autos, one relic. Um, in my personal box, I got a Juan Soto relic, which was pretty cool. I'll take that. Um, let's see. Clark Sports Card says Tigers, Twins, and Pirates all up for grabs. A Trout Mysterious sold at 100 Buy it now on the 12th. Whoa, that was way low. <laughs> um, yeah, that, man, whoever got that. Although sometimes on those Buy it nows, if there's like a best offer accepted, keep in mind that if it's crossed out, that means a lower offer was accepted. But if it says best offer accepted and it wasn't crossed out, it could mean that it was actually bought for more than 100 and it's kind of tough to figure out what they really bought for without going into the source code of the sold page, which is kind of, if you know a little bit about code and everything, it's kind of easy to find, but it is not the easiest of things to do. There used to be websites that you could go see what they actually sold for, but eBay made it a little bit more difficult. So now you got to go view the source code on the eBay page itself. Um, and even then, it sometimes may not be accurate, but for the most part, it is. Um, you can go, there's probably YouTube videos on how to do all of that. All right, so we'll keep it open here for a couple more minutes. Um, Indians for Tigers. Um, just Jeff says, I'll give Shalani one of my spots and break three if he'd like. I mean, I, I don't know why he would say no. But we'll let, Shane, uh, we'll, we'll let Shalani decide. 
Um, no worries, but honestly, thank you for the offer. So Shalani says no. Um, and now watch, that's where the mysterious is going to land. Break three. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, if it, well, that's true. Um, so I guess, yeah, I guess you're right. If it's buy it now, yeah, you can't buy it for more than that. But if it's, um, if it's, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. No, there, so there's, so what is the scenario where you can actually, so if it's like a, uh, that's what it is. If it's an auction or best offer and no one has put an offer in yet, there's a lot of people that go on there, like right as stuff gets bought up or right as stuff gets posted that they say, um, you can actually go bid more. So they'll start the bidding. Say it's like a, say it's like a $200 card and they start the bidding at 99. You can go in there and go bid 200. And if they accept that offer, they, they can take it, but it will say that it sold for 99 because, um, because that was the, because that was the original ask on the price. So it can be deceiving. Been enjoying videos recently. Um, getting back into the hobby after a 30 year break. Jolly Oyster, you are welcome for the content. Yeah, if you've been out of the hobby for 30 years, um, a lot has changed, but one thing hasn't the thrill of the pack chase, which I think is what all the nostalgia actually stems from. If you remember 30 years ago, which I do, I was 13. Um, let's see, I would have been collecting, and that would have been 91. So yeah, 91 tops. I had a ton of that stuff. Um, you know, everyone, everyone, you know, you would have been chasing Griffey cards and all of that. Uh, and Bowman, you would have been chasing Tim Salmon cards. At least I was. And so that thrill of the, the thrill of the pack chase is still there, but now you've got parallels, numbered cards, mode refractors, all sorts of different, awesome stuff, more autos than you could throw a stick at. So there's a, so, so the, so the odds have gone, so the, so the odds and the thrill of the pack have gone, uh, on hyperdrive. So that's, that's part of what the hot is driving. The hobby is just the, the idea that in the pack chase, you can hit something that's truly, truly monster. Um, even if the odds are long, they, there's a gambling element that has been introduced for better or for worse, but, um, but definitely, definitely fun to be in the hobby today. Uh, what I feel bad for in the hobby today are the young kids who are on a very limited budget doing allowances and mowing lawns. It's very hard for them to go get a few packs because it has become more of an adult hobby. That is the one thing about the hobby that I don't like um, because kids, kids I think should enjoy packs even more than adults, but it is what it is. Okay. So let's see tigers for gnats. So um, we are going to say trades going once. Zach Poopa, no one else. Um, so Zach, uh, you've got Tigers for Nats. Jeff Pullins is in this break. Jeff Pullins has the Mariners. And Jolly enjoys set collecting. Yeah, set, and if you're getting back into the hobby, set collecting is actually the thing that I would recommend to do. Um, just to kind of know like what sets offer. Good to start off with the flagship set. Um, good to start off with a set like Donruss. Um, and, you know, without totally just going all in on like the, um, you know, the $500 boxes of such and such with long odds, um, that, it, that, that can get, that that can get a little bit dangerous and it can break the pocketbook and you can become disappointed more often than you might think, because it is that gambling element that comes in true. You might hit some big cards, but if you're just getting back into the hobby, good to just kind of understand what the flagship sets are doing and kind of, and you notice how much things maybe haven't changed and it gets you into the parallel world and kind of understanding numbered cards and what they all mean. That's what I would recommend. Um, so let's see. Um, Jeff says, I only have the Mariners though. So he's only got Kyle Lewis second year cards and Ken Griffey Jr. cards and Donruss. That's it. That's all he's got. <laughs> Kids can have the Fortnite cards. Whoa. <laughs> Tools is like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> kids, kids have a great set coming out next week. Um, which is Tops opening day. That is a great set for kids. Some really fun cards in there. Um, we actually, might, I, I'm thinking about breaking some opening day on the channel. 
um, should be, I actually like opening day. And this year they did release the checklist. I've been working on the set review this year. They've actually got um, some series two uh, preview cards of people that weren't in series one. So there's reasons to be opening that stuff and they do have autographs and whatnot. None of them are guaranteed in any of the formats, but opening day and very inexpensive. I think boxes are going for around 40, 50 bucks right now. Um, great set for kids. If you've got kids, get them, get them. You know, they can open a lot of packs, get them some opening day, a fun product, some really cool photography. Definitely a cool one there. Okay. So let's see. Uh, I will take twins for Mariners. Are we good on twins for Mariners? Yeah. And if you got that Lou Bob last year, still, uh, still city, you ain't, you ain't joking about that. That's a very expensive card. There are some valuable cards that you can get out of opening day. Don't, don't be fooled. Um, <laughs> used to ride my bike four miles to the local grocery store. Yeah. I, I got lucky when I was a kid, I had a card shop right down the street. Um, and it just so happened that Bo Jackson lived up on the hill where I grew up. I grew up in Orange County, so a little bit of money there, but he grew up real close to that. Or I grew up real close to this card shop and Bo Jackson would go into the card shop and sign cards for kids every once in a while. Just unannounced. He would just, if you were there, Bo would sign a few autographs, say hello, shake your hand and tell you to work out and be really good at what you do. And one day you could play baseball. It was great. Uh, so I got to meet Bo Jackson a couple of times at the LCS. Um, of course, I don't have any of those autographs anymore. Who knows what happened to him? Okay, so let's see. Are we doing the um, confirm twins for Mariners? We are good. So we've got twins for Clark Sports Cards trading, trading, waiting. <laughs> Clark Sports Cards trading out of that twin spot, going into the Mariner spot. We've got Jeff Pullins trading the one spot, and going into that twin spot. Let's get that one in. And we're going to say trades going twice. Let's save this off too while we're. I think we're going to close it up and we're going to rip our first box. I don't see many other offers. All right, so trades are closed. Okay. So let's get back here. And now I'm going to try something. We're going to see if it works. If this works, I'm going to go bananas. You guys are going to go bananas. Look at that. I hope you guys can all see. I'm pulling chat up. Let me know if you guys can actually read that. Um, if you're on your phone, you may have to set your resolution up to like 720. I think I can do 1080 on my channel. Um, but we can actually show the people in the break on screen. One of these days, I might even figure out how to make it a little bit more colorful. Um, but for now, at least we can see it. Hey, Tom, you can see exactly who you got in the break. I'm loving it. It actually worked. It actually worked. I, I, am, I know a little bit about technology, but I'm very excited that I was able to get that on screen. So hopefully you guys can see it. Okay, so before we start, one, I want to thank all of the patrons again for your continued support of the channel and of the breaks. Um, it is a pleasure to have all of you, and hopefully we can pull some great cards tonight. So for all of you in break one, and if you're in break two or break three, thank you to all of you. It means the world to me. I put a post out um, early Friday morning that it's, it was kind of the one-year anniversary of everything getting shut down. Um, and in the last year, you guys have no idea how much... This group is meant to me for my own sanity and to kind of get through all of the trials and tribulations that happened in 2020. So I do want to thank you guys. You guys have been great, um, guys and gals, all of you. So let's pull some great cards tonight. It is Jeff Pullen's one year anniversary of breaking with us as well. First break he ever got into was 2020 Don Russ. So let's see if we can get Jeff some fun stuff tonight. And we've got a couple new breakers in the house tonight. So, um, Glad to have you all along. And while I'm at it, Mr. Shy City Pulls is in the house. Shy City Pulls, a fantastic community member as well. So Shy City, want to say, give you a quick shout out. How you doing tonight? Thanks for joining into the stream. And now let's rip a little bit of Donruss. Always a fun rip because we're going to get a ton of numbered cards 
ton of parallel cards. You never know what you're going to get in one of the packs. Um, the design, a little bit different than what they had on all of their sales sheets. It's, it's close, but it's not an exact, um, which I was actually a little surprised about. But hey, um, they do say on all of the sales sheets that this design may, could change, which it did a little, not too much, but um, a little bit, a little bit. I'm not necessarily, it looks very, the interesting part is it looks very, oh, see, now I can't, hmm, well, I promise you they're here. <laughs> okay, so that's one problem with my new thing on the side. Smash is in the house. Smash, how you doing? So let's do our first pack of the night out of breaks. And we will start with Nelson Cruz. And then we have a Pablo Lopez, Aaron Judge, Andy Pettit, 87 retro design. And right off the back, there we are for the Padres. We've got Mr. Jake Cronenworth. Very surprised he wasn't in top series one, but we get Jake and Don Russ. So we got the Cronenworth. That is going to the Padres. And you know what the problem is with my new thing is now I can't see who gets these because it's so tiny on my screen. But that is going to Tom. Tom shows up late. Not late enough to see the Jake Cronenworth, though. So um, let's see. Uh, curious to know about the Royals. Let's see. Uh, I'm glad. Um, I'm glad I was not the only one to notice it. Curious about the Royals. Okay, so let's keep going. And we have a nickname, short print variation of La Pantera, aka Luis Robert. That one's going to the White Sox. So now I have to figure out. Give me one second. There's one thing I have to do because if I can't see it, that's a problem. I think if I go like this, it'll work for me. It will work for me. Then I can't see chat. So I, I, I've got to redo my format. Give me one second here. One second. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. Okay, so we get La Pantera. Luis Robert nickname short print. Nice one there. That one going to Larry. And we also have a Corbin Burns, our first numbered card of the night. This is going to be numbered 311 out of 2021. This is the Red Hollow Parallel. A nice one there for the Brewers. Going to Matt. So Matt, congratulations on that one. We get a Corbin Burns 2021. Was having a Cy Young caliber year last year, then got injured. And then we also have a very nice 1987 retro design. Babe Ruth obviously going to the Yankees. Wouldn't it be awesome if it said Red Sox on the back of this? Let's see what team it says. Yep, it says New York. But we get a Babe Ruth blue hollow parallel for the Yankees. That's going to Matt P. So starting off right. So yeah, Corbin Burns was on. He ended up getting injured, but he is back he, it might be a dark horse for a Cy Young this year. We'll see what happens there. But um, if he can stay healthy and pitches like he was pitching last year, the guy's a great pitcher. Um, we got Josh Hader, Carlos Carrasco, Miggy, and a Ricky Henderson. And this is Ricky Henderson on the Yankees, by the way. And then we have our first Diamond Kings. That's going to be Starling Marte. And Kybert Ruiz, rated rookie for the Dodgers. Um, just leave it off. Hold on. Okay, hold on. What did I miss here? I missed something. What am I missing? Oh, wait. I left it off. Oh, you know why I left it off? Here. I can get it back up. I can get it back up. All right. Then I just got to go like that. There we go. There we go. I'm ruining it for everyone. Sorry, guys. This is my first time doing it. I should have tested it. All right. I think that's good. I think you... Is that good for... Uh, so does this thing being on, does this work for you guys? Or do you guys want it off? I mean, it doesn't matter to me either way. There's Kyber Ruiz. And then we have our second numbered card of the night. This one going to the Rockies. This one going to Mr. Matt P. This is a Charlie Blackman numbered... Ooh, 
So Charlie Blackman. We'll see what the Rockies do this year. I believe the Rockies are going to have not a very good season. I, I would assume that they're going to be an also-ran, but Charlie Blackman, probably one of their better players now that Nolan Arenado is gone. And then our final card is going to be a Kevin Gosman for the Giants. Blue hollow parallel. We get one of these per pack. Okay. Jolly likes If Jolly likes it, we're keeping it. Jolly's first one. Made, uh, made off after a minute. It's like watching... <laughs> maybe, maybe off... After a minute, it's like watching Fox News. Okay, Mike Soroka, George Springer, or it's like, uh, pardon the interruption, on ESPN. Chris Paddock. There's a Babe Ruth again. That's the base. And for the Angels, a Joe Adele rated rookie. So we get the Joe Adele. We haven't started a card garden. Maybe we should start it. Should we start a card garden? Or do we want, let's just do it like this. Do this first box like this. We'll do a card garden at some point. But we get a Joe Adele. Nice one there for the Angels going out to Larry. And then we get the nickname image variation of Joey Gallo, Pico de Gallo. And we have a backwards Diamond King. That is a Matt Chapman. And that is a Liberty, not a, uh, not a Liberty, a Independence Day parallel. That one's going out to the A's. It's going out to Matt P. And we have the Blake Snell. Giovanni, how would you go about getting a personal box? Well... I can do a personal box for you. Shalani was interested in one too. I actually do have two personals of this available. I've not posted them yet, um, but I told Shalani it would be 155 shipped. So there's a Blake Snell Blue Hollow. Let's go into Tampa Bay. However, being that we have three breaks already tonight, I think if I was to do two personal boxes, I would probably either A, do them tomorrow night or like Tuesday night. Um, I, tomorrow night, I think my wife is going to be... I think I'm flying solo with the kids, so tomorrow might tomorrow night may not be good, um, but I would figure out sometime in the next week to do the personals for you. All right, and here we go. Second year, Luis Robert. So we get a Luis Robert, and we'll I think that's our second one for Larry. We had the nickname image variation. We've got Didi. There's a Juan Soto. So we're sleeving all night. Juan Soto, who's got the Nats tonight? The Nats going to Zach P. Jim Tomei. Frankie Lindor. There's a Kyle Lewis. And we have the Tim Anderson. This is another Independence Day parallel. That one also going to the White Sox, so that one's going to Larry. So another Independence Day parallel. And our blue hollow is going to be a Dustin May for the Dodgers. Next pack. The Diamond Kings are, you know, um, some people are saying they love the Diamond Kings because it's kind of a nice refresh from what it looked like in years past. I've heard other people say that they're not a big fan of the design, but that's the neat thing. Everything's subjective. Nick Ahmed, Brian Reynolds, Dittleson Ahmet, Troy Gloss, love that one. And this is a Troy Gloss on the Angels, which is where I like him. He was Part of that 2002 World Series team. Love it. And we have Nolan Arenado. And there's a Bobby Dahlbeck. Rookie for the Red Sox. Red Sox is going to be Mr. Brewers 34 GC, a.k.a. Jeremy. And our third numbered card, a JT Real Muto for the Phillies. Numbered 794 out of 2021. So the JT Real Muto card going to... That would be Brewers as well. So a little Brewers 34 GC pack. Nice JT. Let's get, there we go. What do you guys think about this design? A red hollow. Striped. It's kind of nice. Uh, Max Freed. I did a mock draft today. Ended up getting Max Freed. Was surprised where he fell to me in a mock draft. Um, but... I don't, I don't think in a real draft he's going to fall that far. But too many people auto-picking in my mock draft that I did today. But I'm getting ready, guys. I'm going to be tough to beat. I guarantee it. <laughs> Lucas Giolito, Marco Gonzalez, David Fletcher, Miguel Tejada on Oakland. And we have a Jose Altuve Gigante. That is a nickname 
uh, variation. And the Diamond King, Ronald Acuna Jr. For the Braves. Our Braves and break one going to Tyler. And we have another numbered card here. This one going to Eugenio Suarez on the Reds. This one's going to be 952 out of 2021. So we're getting the red numbered parallels. Hoping to see some lower ones here in the next few packs. But we'll see. It all depends what the pack gods want to give us. But there is the Eugenio Suarez going out to Aaron M. And we have an Aaron Nola Blue Hollow as well. And so for our next pack, let's see, I'm really looking forward to optic. Yeah, with the optic on these, what I find interesting is, so the design on these, it's amazing how much it actually looks like Series 1. And the design that they had on their, on their cell sheets is not too different from this, but I actually like that design better. It was kind of more, more uh, 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 diagonal, and they had some solid border, borders around it, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, here we go. Nolan Arenado, Vlad Jr., Ryan Sandberg, 87, and a Sixto Sanchez rookie card for the Marlins going to Tyler. And then we have an Aaron Judge. And we have our first Liberty Parallel. This one of future Hall of Famer Miguel Cabrera going out to the Tigers and Clark Sports Cards. The Liberty Parallel not numbered, but the rarest of the unnumbered parallels. So a nice Liberty Miguel Cabrera. I think they land about, uh, I think it's only one per box. So even though they're not numbered, kind of a longer one. You might get two per box, but you're not going to get many. That's for sure. And then we also have a season stat line parallel for Paul Molitor. This one numbered 94 out of 136. This is 136 runs in 1982. And this one is going to Team Cream City. Look at that. Now, why does it say Cream City? Paul Molitor was a brewer. So we know it's the brewers, but Cream City so interesting team name. Is that really the team name? Hold on. Hold on. It really says that. Look at that. Right here. Team. The team is Cream City. That is an interesting, interesting. Okay. We'll take it. Is the Aaron Judge a short print? I do not believe that it is. Um. I don't think so. There's nothing on here. Yeah, I do not believe that the Aaron Judge is. And then our final card of the last pack is going to be our Blue Hollow. It's going to be of Nelson Cruz for the Twins. That going to Jeff Pullins. Cream City is Milwaukee. I've never heard it called. Uh, I have ne Well, of course, James is going to know that. I have never heard Milwaukee called Cream City, but maybe it's because I've actually never been to Milwaukee. Um, why is it called Cream City? What is the, um, what's the reference to? Is it just like, cause I, with, when you think Milwaukee, I just think beer and then beer, and then I think beer, and then maybe cheese. <laughs> but, okay, Walker Bueller, Dustin May, Max Scherzer, Vlad Guerrero Sr., and this is going to be on the Expo, so that'll be a Nationals card. And then we have a Mike Trout Diamond King for the Angels. Nice Mike Trout. Cream, cream, cream City just sounds wrong. Yeah, it kind of does. Um, there's got to be a reason for it. And then we have a Braylon Marquez rated rookie. And we have a Brian Reynolds. And this is another Independence Day parallel. That one's going out to the Pirates. So that one going to Clark Sports Cards. And our... Blue Hollow going to be a Pablo Lopez for the Mariners. It's because of the beer. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Is it the, is it, is it the foam cap on a beer? Uh, bricks were cream color, I think. Something like that. Well, that yeah, that's an obscure reference. Um, all of the manufacturing. So that's that's interesting. Um, it's always fun to learn about the history of like cities and whatnot. Um, like when you know the street names in your own city, 
that most of them are usually usually have something to do with the history of the city of the, itself. So if you see like a like Stevens Road, you, Stevens is probably some guy in the history of the city that was a big deal. Uh, Kevin Biggio, um, I just made Stevens up, but Adam Wainwright, Antonio Sens, uh, Sensatella, Craig Biggio, eighty seven, and then we have a Sammy Sosa, and this is a five thirty four slugging percentage card. So a nice Sammy Sosa there. Got a Cattell Marte Diamond King and a Frank Thomas Independence Day Parallel. That's going out to the White Sox. So Larry hitting a big on the White Sox spot. Another parallel there. And our blue hollow going to be Mr. Nolan Arenado still on the Rockies. Nice one there for Matt P. Uh, just Jeff. Um, I wonder if I'm blocked. Just Jeff, you, uh, I don't think you're blocked. Um, because of the yellowish bricks used in Milwaukee at the beginning of the 20th century. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, I've never, I've never heard it called Cream City. But I'm sure now that I've heard that, um, I will, I'll, I'll probably hear it all the time and then say, man, I sounded like an idiot. You know, I'm going to say another thing about Don Russ. Isn't it nice to see cards that are nice and centered? Uh, tops. Series one had a hard time with that. Jeff McNeil, Zach Wheeler, Jordan Alvarez, second year card, Mr. Bartolo Colon. And this card has a little bit of a, what is going on with that card? I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is, I'll probably, there you go. See that dimple on the card? Almost looks like a staple. Um, I'll bet you, you can't see it on, oh yeah, it's on the back too. So the Bartolo, the Bartolo 87, a little dinged up coming out of the, coming out of the pack. But we do right behind that, and the good news is this one is not dinged up in that same place. But we got a Christian Pache for the Braves. Nice rookie card. There's a street with my last name here. It's for my grandpa. Yeah, see? And so, yeah, that's it's when you start looking at the history of cities, um, you start finding out a lot of interesting things. Like, I remember when I growing up in Orange County, um, I was born in Anaheim and you go, you know, everything in Southern California has like these very Spanish last names and you go, where did Anaheim come from? Well, Anaheim was a German guy that came in. There's a Cabrian Hayes. That's a nice one for the pirates. Um, that's the one you're looking for if you're got the pirates in this break. Um, but there was a German guy that had like a big influence in Orange County. Um, so he had the whole city named after him. His last name was Anaheim. That so like well, everything was like Spanish and you know, um kind of the Wild West and stuff out in Southern California in the eighteen hundreds. There's some guy with the last name of Anaheim that came in there, built up a bunch of stuff, and got it to where it was today, and it's got his got his name on a city. Uh you got Clayton Kershaw. This one is a red hollow, and this is also numbered. This one, 165 out of 2021. So there's a nice Kershaw for the Dodgers. And that one's going to Brewers 34 GC. Got to go eat something jolly. Great. We'll see you back here in a little bit. Have some ice cream for us. Nice Clayton. And then we have the Tim Anderson Blue for Chicago. And that would be the White Sox. If you're wondering. I miss OC. You live a uh, Steel City. You lived in San Clemente. It's a small world. I graduated from San Clemente High School. I hail from San Clemente. I grew up, I, well, my father lived in San Juan Capistrano. My dad lived in, or my mom lived in San Clemente, divorced family. Um, yeah, I lived there from about seven years old on uh, until I moved out here, which was about 13 years ago. Eloy Jimenez, Jose Abreu, um, I actually asked my wife to marry me on the San Clemente Pier. Uh, Dylan Bundy, Dwight Gooden, and then we have a nickname short print, Yaz for Mike Yastrzemski. So Steel City is seeing San Clemente. I, I, San Clemente, I tell you, that is a, a um, little known, well, not little known, but uh, a little obscure city on the national scene but one of the best surf towns that you're going to find in California. There's an Anthony Santander Diamond Kings, and we have an Anthony Rizzo Diamond Kings Red Hollow Parallel. This one's numbered 538 out of 2021. So an Anthony Rizzo for the Cubbies. That's going to Tyler C. There's a village here in southern Missouri that my ancestors settled in in the 1880s. 
It's named Farenberg. Uh, they were German. My maternal grandfather. Yeah, see, and and look, like the whole place is named after him. That's it's so weird that that happens that way. Um, Anthony Rizzo. So if you want to be remembered forever, get your name in a city <laughs> or a town, even. Um, all right, Andy Pettit, and that is a blue hollow as well. Let's see which one the Pettit goes to. He played for a few different teams. That's going to the Yankees. Yeah, um, yeah, San Clemente. I and it's such a bummer because I've not been back since last time I was there was in January 2020. So I've not been back to my hometown in quite a while. Um, but I'll get back there hopefully sometime later this year. Aaron Nola, Blake Snell, German Marquez. There's Oral Hershiser, the Bulldog. Another Babe Ruth, and there's Fernando Tatis Jr. We got a Tatis. Diamond King. And we have our first auto, and it is going to be a Braxton Garrett for Miami. So this one going out to Tyler C. Braxton Garrett is, I'm not going to lie, I do not know much about Braxton Garrett. So let's find out. As he looked at the line from his first big league start, Garrett had a few complaints. I'm really happy five uh, had a few complaints. I thought it said had a few complaints. <laughs> um, I'm really happy five innings, one run, said the rookie left-hander after a September 13, 2020 outing against Philadelphia. Same for his team, while uh, which watched him strike out six and scatter three hits. So a rookie, Braxton Garrett, pitcher for the Marlins. Keep in mind the Marlins made the playoffs last year. Um, so we'll see if they can continue that success. But that's going to be our first auto of two. Um, for the Marlins and Tyler C. Then we have Jason Giambi as our blue hollow to end that pack. So we got Giambi. And Giambi, by the way, that's going to Oakland. That is the A's card. Got to check that sometimes when these retired stars played on a couple different teams. Our next pack. We used to jump off the pier. Yes. I remember. I remember. Uh, there was a, one of the high school like PE classes you could take was beach activities. And the final was either A, jump off the pier and swim back, or B, swim around the pier um, to pass the class. Half of us jumped off the pier and the tide's got to be right or else you can get hurt. I doubt they do that anymore. Um, Clayton Kershaw, Corey Kluber, Trevor Bauer. There's a nice Nolan. Put that one over here. And we have Brady Singer, rated rookie for the uh, Royals. And we have Nolan Arenado. And it looks like we have our next auto right behind this. But before we do that, we'll do a little bit of a reveal. There's a Vlad Guerrero. That's a senior. So that one's going to the Nats. The graveyard there in the field. I was all going. I practically lost the time. I'm trying to figure out how I can help restore it. I have three of... Yeah, whew. Yeah, you got to raise money for that stuff. That's never easy. Um, Nolan Arenado, and it looks like our, let's do a reveal on our second auto. Our second auto going to the Yankees, and this one is a low numbered one. This is a parallel. It is Clark Schmidt for the Yankees, and it is numbered 55. Get it on there. Out of 99. So 55 out of 99 going to the Yankees. That's going to Matt P. Congratulations on that one, Matt. Nice numbered parallel auto, rookie auto. We'll take that to the bank all day, Mr. Clark Schmidt. Beautiful looking card. Nice blue hollow parallel. Nice. Nice one. Nice one. And then we had the Nolan Arenado. We still got our relic to go. We got plenty of packs left. See what we can get out of the rest of the box. We got a nice one on the back, that's for sure. Um, Framber Valdez, Josh Donaldson, Shane Bieber, Paul Konyerko. Yeah, don't like Paul. All right, 1,406 career steals, Ricky Henderson. Those are Joey Gallo, Diamond King. Then we have an Aaron Judge, nice one there. And that is numbered. Man, these are hard to read. Uh, 1813 out of 2021. So an 1830, so to 2021, Aaron Judge, red foil parallel. Going to the Yanks. That one also going to Matt P. So he pulls down a nice Aaron Judge parallel. 
Congrats on that one, Matt. And we have a nice one here for the Padres. This one going to Tom. Tom, a Jake Cronenworth. Blue Hollow. Rated Rookie Parallel. We'll take that one all day long. Nice condition, too. Clean. Jake Cronenworth. Love it. All right, next pack. Braxton will start. Cabrera is injured. Uh, okay, I'll take that out of it. I agree with Nightshade with the lazy sig. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Lazy? Lazy? Yeah, a little lazy. A little lazy. You're not, you're not lying. Salvador Perez, Charlie Blackman, Tim Anderson, Ichiro Rosazuki, and that is on Seattle. We got Big Sexy Bartolo, nickname variation, and a Carlos Correa Diamond King, and another numbered. This one's going to be Ryu, Engine Ryu. This one's 209 out of 2021. So that one's going to the Blue Jays. I haven't said the Blue Jays much, but that one's going to Larry. So, Larry, congrats on that one. Ryu, another one of those pitchers that flies under the radar because of where he pitches, but one of the best in the league. Definitely don't want to face him. Um, and then we have a nice Walker Bueller. Speaking of good pitchers, Walker Bueller for the Dodgers, Blue Hollow, and a penny sleeve that wants to give me some trouble. There's Walker. All right, next pack. Lots of packs. Lots of 24 packs. Gotta love it. Oh, we got a nice one on the back. We got a nice one on the back. All right, here we go. Josh Bell, Kevin Gosman. Yelich, George Brett, we got DeGrom, Brandon Lowe, Lau, and we got a Lance Berkman, this is going to be for the Astros, um, 1075 out of 2021, another red, well, I tell you, there was a lot more, when I opened my personal box of this, I think I had like five of these, I think we've already pulled like eight of them in this box, we got more packs, we're going to find more of them is my bet. Uh, so we got a Lance Berkman to 2021. Nice one there. Like I said, going to the Astros. So that one's going out to Aaron. And then we have a Diamond Kings Blue Hollow Parallel Fernando Tatis Jr. Also going to the Padres. That one in there. A nice little, a nice little Tatis action. Nice Diamond Kings Parallel. Going to Tom. And our next pack will contain the following eight cards. Oh, on the back. Here we go. Alex Verdugo. Javier Baez. Lance Lynn. Gary Carter. Big Puma. Lance Berkman. Nickname. Variation. Christian Yelich and this next card. Oh, ho, 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 love it. The trending parallel. This is of Ozzy Albies. This is a cool looking card. I did not pull one of these out of my personal. This is trending. This is one of the harder inserts to pull, but not, not hard, but harder. Um, this one is numbered to $9.99. It is $6.11 out of $9.99, but just a really cool... Really cool insert there. That one going to Tyler. So congratulations. Uh, Got to say, yeah. Yeah, Steel City, these are actually pretty. I mean, Donruss, Donruss is always fun because every pack's got something. So there's the Ozzy Albies trending. Nice one there. Congratulations on that one, Tyler. And then we have for our Blue Hollow, we're going to have a Brandon. I got to get more sleeves out. Um, I have a feeling we're going to be sleeving a lot of cards tonight. We got to be a little careful on time. So here we go. Let me get these down. So we got Brandon Low, Lau. I get them all mixed up. All right. Next pack. I think we got seven packs to go, something like that. And it looks like we're going to get our relic in this pack. Doesn't look like it. We're going to. All right, here we go. Chris Bryant. Cool host. Altuve. Berkman. 
Dalton Varsha, nice rookie card there. Jordan Alvarez and a Frank Thomas Blue. And our relic is going to go to the Cubbies. And this one is a Sammy Sosa. Nice blue patch there. That one. Sammy Sosa shows up a lot in Donruss. You don't see him a lot in tops, but shows up a lot in Donruss. Um, all right, so we got to get a thick card sleeve for this one. Um, these relics are much thicker than the Topps Series 1 uh, materials relics. So this one, a pretty nice one here. Sammy Sosa, that one going to Tyler. So Tyler, congratulations on that Sosa. Very cool one right there. Big time home run hitter. And by the way, the Jordan Alvarez, I had a feeling something was up. Uh, that is a variation as well. That is the H-Town variation for Houston. I thought the Alvarez was in an odd spot. So the Alvarez is a variation as well. And of course, we'll get the big hurt blue hollow parallel sleeved up. So we've got the Sammy Sosa relic. Now we move on to our next... Yeah, the Albies was real sweet. Let's see what else we can get out of here. All right. Got another nice Diamond King on the back. We've got Marcelo Suna, Matt Olson, Luzardo, Rod Carew on the Twins. So that will be a Twins card. And Dylan Carlson, rated rookie. Nice one there for the Cardinals. He's got the Cardinals. That's going to Larry as well. So Larry picks up a Dylan Carlson. We have talked about Dylan enough on this channel. I'm not going to say it again, but you guys know what I was going to say. <laughs> not saying it this time. Okay, we got a Christian Yelich and another numbered red. This one numbered 1172 out of 2021 for Matt Olson of the Oakland Athletics. Going to Matt P. So Matt gets himself another numbered card. And... We end it, or we end this pack at least, on a Mike Trout Diamond King. Hold on, Dave. Mike Trout Diamond King, and this is a blue hollow as well. So any Mike Trout parallel, gonna get gonna get top loaded. So a nice one there for the Angels. Going to Larry as well. So Larry pulls a couple nice cards out of that pack. And we continue on. All right, here we go. Brian Anderson, Sonny Gray, Max Fried, Giambi, Shane, don't call me Justin Bieber, Mike Yaz Stremski, and another Sammy Sosa. This one's numbered to 2021. It is 816 out of 2021. The Red Hollow Parallel. We are pulling a ton of these out of this box. I feel like we're getting one every other pack, um, which is funny too, because when you think of Top Series 1, like to pull the golds, which are numbered to 2021, you would get like one or two per hobby box. We're getting like one or we're getting one every other pack here. And then we have for the Angels a Shohei Otani blue hollow as well. And when you think about it, there's less cards in a pack too. So you would think the odds would actually be longer to pull those, not shorter. But it is what it is. Here we go. Patrick Corbin. Austin Meadows, Garrett Cole, A-Rod, and a Nick Magical rated rookie. Nice one there for the White Sox. Starling Marte. And we have another career stat line parallel. This one's for German Marquez. This one's numbered 43 out of 500. And this is for the career 640 strikeouts. So this one going to the Rockies. And Matt P. Matt gets another numbered card. This one of German Marquez. I like the career. This would be a cool set to have, like all the career or season stat lines or both. Um, probably pretty hard set to get. Then we have a Max Scherzer blue parallel. That's going out to the Nats, obviously. It's going to Zach. Zach P. All right. Next pack. Oh, look at the back. Look at the back there. That's a good one. All right, here we go. Xander Bogarts, Isaiah Kiner-Falifa, 
Falafel. Pete Alonzo. Mark McGuire, 87. And we get a flipping cards all around. Cody Bellinger. A David Peterson rated rookie. And we have a fire emoji. Jose Canseco. This one going to the A's. This one going to Matt P as well. This one's going to be numbered 43 out of 75. So a Canseco to 75. Number 43. It's a nice one there. The fire emoji. Coming over from the 2020 set. Carried over into the 2021 set. Really cool looking card there. Nice one too. Number to 75, Conseco, polarizing figure in baseball. And then for the Marlins, we have a very nice rated rookie, Sixto Sanchez. Blue hollow parallel and get some more top loaders here. So a ton, a ton of, a ton of fun in that pack. Very nice pack. I can get the top loader out, that would be fantastic. So we're going to go through lots of top loaders tonight, guys. Um, Sixto Sanchez, only because of the amount of parallels demand it. So a nice Sixto. Two packs left in break one. And then we're going to get right into break number two. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we can get. We've got Jose Ramirez, Glaber Torres, Shohei, Frank Thomas, rated rookie Ian Anderson. Nice one for the Braves there. We'll get that sleeved up later. Javier Baez, and look at this. Oh, 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 that's a nice one. How about a Mike Trout Elite Series numbered 78 out of 999. So a Mike Trout Elite Series going to Larry. Beautiful one there. Like just, I mean, it's beautiful. What, what can we say? Numbered 78 out of 999. And you guys are going to love what happens next because there's the Mike Trout. That is like the gold. I forget exactly. I think it's called Rapture or something like that. But a beautiful, beautiful Mike Trout. But the next card in the pack is the same exact card, a Mike Trout Elite Series. However, this one is numbered to 349. So 208 out of 349. So two Mike Trout Elite Series parallel cards back to back in the pack. That is... That's fun. Oh, come on. We got to get a better focus than that. I mean, that's what they just call fun. That's, that's dinner and dessert. That's awesome. Seeing doubles. Sweet. Congratulations, Larry. And the final card of that pack is no slouch either. It is an Aaron Judge Blue Hollow Parallel going to Matt. So now we get to our final pack of break number one and let's see what we can get all right away we go good luck everyone carlos correa zach gallon clevenger looks like we're gonna have another numbered jeff bagwell aaron judge diamond kings and there's alec bohm we've been looking for him this whole time we get an Alec Bohm for Philadelphia, rated rookie. That one going to Brewers 34 GC. <laughs> yeah. No, I am not kidding. That was two. Like that was, yeah, no kidding. Let's hope that trend continues. All right, so there we go. Alec Bohm, nice one there. And we have another nice one right after that. We hadn't seen him all pack either. But here is a Joey Bart. Rated rookie, numbered 156 out of 2021. Going to the Giants. Who has the Giants? We have not said the Giants much tonight, but that one is going to Matt P. Matt had a few spots in this. I believe he had five or six. Um, so we heard Matt's name plenty. Um, so there we go. We've got Joey Bart, numbered 156 out of 2021. Nice rated rookie numbered card. And our final card of the box, no slouch at all. We kind of started the night with him, or started the break. But how about a blue hollow parallel numbered 
are not numbered, but uh, nickname short print variation of La Pantera, Luis Robert. Nice one there. And that one is going to Larry. Larry, congrats on that. And that is break number one, guys. Fun break, fun box. Like I said, all of these boxes are going to be fun like that. Tons of numbered, tons of different parallels. So that is box number one. Let's just see what the hits are real quick. Um, if I didn't sleeve some of the cards, and every card in this stack is going to get sleeved. Um, but we'll do that after the break. But in just top-loaded cards alone, I always say you can tell how good a box is just based upon the amount of top-loaders, which we got plenty. So let's see what we got into. Blue, La Pantera, nickname short print, Blue Hollow. The Joey Bart, numbered to 2021, rated rookie. Alec Bohm base. The two Mike Trouts. Might be the, might be the two, be, uh, two well, my two favorite cards in the box. Um, we've got the Mike Trout, numbered to 349, and the Mike Trout, numbered to 999, Elite Series. Back-to-back -back in a pack. I don't know how common that is, but that doesn't happen that often. And we have Stack Pat Matt. In with a $20 super chat says, thank you for the nice break, my friend. You are welcome. I'll be putting in some of these cards in my stack pack mystery pack on eBay. And yes, if you guys have not checked that out, um, definitely do that. So uh, Matt has mystery packs. I put a post on, ins on the Patreon page for that. But for anyone in the room, definitely um, go check out um, Matt. In fact... Um, I got to do one thing for Matt here. Um, Matt, if you want to, oh wait, I have you as a moderator. Um, so you are already in as a moderator. If you want to post a link to that, feel free to, um, but definitely some cool mystery packs, very well priced. Um, you guys should check it out. Um, and that is the stack pack mystery packs. Um, so we got Sixto Sanchez rated rookie. The Jose Canseco, numbered to 75, that's the fire emoji. Uh, the career stat, uh, stat line uh, parallel, numbered 43 out of 500, German Marquez. Sammy Sosa to 2021. The Mike Trout Blue, so th three Mike Trout parallels. Matt Olson to 2021. Dylan Carlson, base rookie. Sammy Sosa Relic, a very cool Ozzy Albies trending, numbered to 999. Fernando Tatis Jr., Diamond Kings Blue. The Lance Berkman number to 2021. The uh, Hinjin Ryu number to 2021. The Jake Cronenworth rated rookie blue hollow parallel. The Aaron Judge number to 2021. Our second auto of the night was Clark Schmidt. This one's numbered 55 out of 99. And then our other auto was the Braxton Garrett. They're both rookie autos. This one is a base. We got Anthony Rizzo Diamond Kings to 2021. Clayton Kershaw to 2021. Cabrian Hayes, rookie. Christian Pache, rookie. Paul Molitor, season stat line, numbered to 136. The Miguel Cabrera, Liberty parallel. Liberty emoji par parallel. We've got Eugenio Suarez to 2021. JT Real Muto to 2021. Joe Adele, rookie. Charlie Blackman to 2021. Corbin Burns to 2021. And we started the night with a Jake Cronenworth rated rookie, along with a whole bunch of other parallels and whatnot in here. So congratulations to everyone in break one. Great way to start off the three boxes. Let me get this one cleared off. And while I do that, be sure to check out Stack Pack Matt. And Matt, I really want to thank you for the very generous $20 super chat. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Thank you very much for getting into the break. To all of you that were in break number one, let me get... Oh. Get these and now we'll get into break number two. Brad is back. Brad, people get busy. You're okay. <laughs> All right, so that's break number one. All right, so now break number two. Still looking for that mysterious. Looking for a whammy. So no whammy, no mysterious in that box, but we'll see if maybe we get one in break number two. All right, so let me take this one. That was break number one. There it goes. That kind of worked. Okay. All right, break number two. I agree, Kyle. Captain Davies Treasure says he wants to join a break. 
I have a pinned comment at the top of the chat. Um, best way to join the break, um, they almost always sell out on Patreon, is to be a Patreon member. You can join for as low as $2 a month. You would be joining about 75 other people um, that are Patreons. Um, most of the people that are in this room are Patreons. They can tell you what they like it or not, but you can get packs, you can get pack, uh, you can get break credits, you can get um, curated packs. There's all sorts of different things, but what it does give you is first access to all of my breaks. You can join for as little as $2 a month. So if you are interested, I would encourage you to check out the Patreon page. If you don't want to join, totally get it. Um, no pressure either way. But if you would like to be in one of the breaks, I try and keep breaks as competitively priced as possible. I am I don't do this as a business. I do it definitely as a hobby. I enjoy hanging out with the group. Um, so I'm not looking to make a ton of money off breaks. I just like seeing cards and ripping them and hanging out. So that is that's why I do this. Um, I am not I'm not I'm not trying to build an empire. For a while there I thought I might, but I'm not trying to. <laughs> so I, I might do it by accident. That that I guess could happen. Okay, so here's what we got for break number two, guys. Um I've got Zach Poopa in this one. JR's cards is in here. Mark S is in it. Cincinnati Picker is in it as well. Ms. Teresa is in the break. We've got David T in the break. Steel City is in this break. And the one spot hot shot, Jeff Pullins, is in this break as well. We've got Giovanni cards breaking with us for the first time. Giovanni, good luck tonight. We've got Captain John in this break. And our friend from north of the border, Mr. Joe Atek, is going to round out the break. Uh, tonight's breaks are all sold out, Captain Davey. Um, so we got Captain Davey and we got Captain John in here. We got a pirate theme going, uh, which is awesome. So, Teresa. Hoping number two will be just as good. Well, I yeah, Teresa, um, it, you're up. So let's hope we hope, hope we can pull you some great cards as I stumble all over my words here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's roll some dice. We're going to roll the dice twice, just like last time. One for teams, one for break participants. The dice will tell us how many times we're going to randomize all of the teams. So let's do... Oh man, that one came way off, but we ended up being a two, just like break one. So we're going to randomize our teams twice and let's uh, pull that up. There's random and see, I switched everything up. All right, here we go. Switched. Oh, and see now when I switch everything up, ah, oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. Here's our teams. Unfortunately, not in alphabetical order because for whatever reason, I copy pasted and forgot to do that. But hey, it is what it is. We're going to randomize it twice. So one and two. All right, Nationals on the top, Orioles on the bottom. And in. There's that. Come back over here and roll the dice again. And we rolled the one. So we got to roll it again. Uh, at least we bounced off. This time we rolled the three. So we will randomize the break participants three times and pull this back up so you can see it. Start a new list. So we're doing it three times. Here's everyone that's in the break. And we'll go one and two and three. All right, we got Teresa on the top and JR's cards on the bottom. We will go. Hide all of this. That's how I get myself in trouble but when I don't when I don't uh alphabetize. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna sort it A to Z, and this is how the break is gonna wind up. And we will open it up for trades. Let me get chat pulled up here as well. Oh, I might want to move this over so you guys can actually see. But here's how we end up. Captain John gets the halos. See if we can pull some more Mike Trout parallels out of this box. Got Steel City getting the Astros. JR's Cards uh, gets the A's. 
Blue Jays going to David T. Braves going to Cincinnati Picker. Brewers going to Giovanni Card, so he's breaking with us for the first time. See if we can pull some sweet yelly cards or something. Uh, we've got the Cardinals going to Teresa. She'll be looking for Dylan Carlson. Got the Cubs going to Joe Tech. Diamondbacks to Zach P. Dodgers to Cincinnati Picker. Giants going to Zach P. Indians going to Teresa. Mariners going to Joe Tech. Marlins going to Cincinnati Picker. Mets going to Joe Tech. Nats going to Teresa. Orioles going to JR's Cards. Padres going to Mark S. Phillies going to JR. Pirates going to Teresa. Uh, we got the Rangers going to JR's Cards. We got the Rays going to David T. Red Sox going to JR's Cards. Reds going to Cincinnati Picker. So he gets his Reds again two weeks in a row. That's fantastic. Rockies and Royals going to Steel City. We've got the Tigers going to Mark S. Twins going to Joe Attack. White Sox going to David T. And the Yankees going to the one spot hot shot, Jeff Pullins. All right. So let me get caught up on chat here. Um, oh wait so yes if, was there more questions on patreon yeah so patreon is like a monthly um but it, it's it's a patronage that's exactly what they call it um i am in all uh <laughs> brad's in brad's already in one inception break looking for that zuber auto um i'm getting a couple inception boxes i will probably break a couple of them i didn't buy too many of them it's kind of a tough product to break um but if we do get a zuber we're gonna let you know Okay, so let's see. Um, why do I gotta make walk my? Uh, who do I gotta make walk my plank? <laughs> Love it. Bobby Witt just went yard again. So Bobby Witt is on fire. He's gonna start in the minors. I guarantee it. Service time alone says he's gonna start in the minors. So I I was kind of irritated the other day when um, sports card investor said oh, next week Bobby Witt. And it's like oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait to hype some speculation. Preseason home runs do not dictate regular season su success. I there I can show you a bazillion examples of that, um, especially with a guy that is a rookie. And he, if he makes the starting day team, then the hype is on and the hype is real. Um, but there's no way he does just because they're not going to lose a year of service time um, for a player that young. It's just not going to happen. He might get called up in May, but. It, he ain't going to be on that starting day roster. Um, okay, so let's see. Ter uh, Teresa willing to trade for the Pirates. Um, that's coming from Steel City. Giovanni says trade Brewers for Padres. So who's got the Padres? That would be Mark. Let's see. What else do we have here? Captain John. Captain John did get one spot in this. Ends up with the Halos. If we get three Mike Trout parallels, that'll pay for itself. <laughs> um, so, Brad, um, yeah, we will. Um, one of these days, I'm actually going to pull a card that I know you want. It has not happened yet, but Brad, we are going to do it. Watch us get a Zuber. And if we get a Zuber, we're going to text you. We're going to we're going to find you, Brad. <laughs> we, we have ways of finding you. <laughs> so, um, Gary V already getting his market going. Yeah, I know all that. And look, Bobby Witt is not a bad buy. Um, he's a great prospect. He should have a great career. I'm not saying don't buy Bobby Witt. I'm just saying it it infuriates me when the hype machine gets put in full throttle when you have when you have um, um, sports card investor going. I I think this will be on the top five hot list next week. It's like what what is your proof point of that? Like uh, other than he hit a preseason home run. Like that doesn't mean anything like most, eh, but anyway, I, I won't start rambling. Um, I, I do investing videos too. And I'm sure there's people out there that say, who is this guy? And what, why should I listen to him? So I don't know. I, I do try on my investment videos um, to give stats based advice and keep in mind. I am not like this all knowing omnipresent sports card, you know, Oracle that knows what cards are going to go up. Some of it is also for entertainment value. <laughs> so, and I will be the first person to say that. So let's see. Um, I am going to say, well, I, that's true, Brad. I actually did. Okay. So I'm going to say trades going once. Um, let's see. Do we have any other trades in here? Oh, we don't have any trades, but we do have the one, the only Austin Farmer in the house. Austin, how are you? Joe Tech makes it in. There he is. Joe Tech, so I think you can see on screen who you got. Um, Teresa, keeping the Pirates, looking for that Cabrian Hayes auto. 
we pull that thing, that'd be awesome. Zach is saying Mets for Diamondbacks. Let's see. So we got a lot of offers, but I don't think um I don't think we have any confirmed trades. And I like how I said TG, not trades going once. So we'll we'll do that officially, that trades are going once. We'll make it official. And then we got one more break after this. Let me make sure I got enough top loaders. I think we're going to make it. I think it's going to be 125 top loader night. Jeff Pullen says, yeah, still got that Bobby Witt first edition. Uh, yeah, no kidding, man. Um, by the way, go look at what that Bobby Witt first edition is selling for <laughs> right now. That Bobby Witt is, those that Bowman first edition um, set, I still have an unopened box of that. Do you know how bad I want to open that thing? Um, because I went through some of the ones that I have and I sent some off for grading before I wanted to get one PS one last PSA in before I maybe never grade with PSA again because it's too expensive. Um, but I did send one last little lot in. I sent a few of those Bowman first first edition cards and man, I'd be great to get some of those in a 10. Um, most of the ones I sent in are probably for PC. Some of them I would probably sell if they come in as tens or something, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that Bowman first edition set, um, whew, man, that, that is a, that is an expensive set right now. Um, all right. Joe Tech Mets for diamondbacks. Let's see what else? Um, Austin was on a wild, wild weekend. Should we ask? <laughs> I won't let you say you never pulled for me. <laughs> Yeah, I do remember when you when you started the Mercer collection. That was that was uh and you're up to like what is it? Like 130 to 150 Mercers now. I if you ever want to see a complete rainbow, just ask Brad, tell Brad, give Brad your email address and have him send you pictures of his Matt Mercer collection. It is it is a sight to behold. Uh, Mercer, obviously not one of the most valuable cards you could ever collect, but when you see a true rainbow um, and a true collection, um, it, it is just a, a, of, of a player. It's a sight to behold. It, it's, the, the, it's awesome. Um, and now Zuber is going to be his next target. So if you got Zubers, Brad is going to be your man. Uh, Cincinnati picker. I, I do not, I've not seen him tonight yet, so I don't know if he's in. Um, I know he would be using his, uh, his YouTube, uh, handle Cincinnati picker. Um, so I believe he is not here tonight. All right. And then, um, <laughs> I was like, why does anyone want to keep the pirates? Now you get it. Exactly. Okay. So trades going twice. Cornette, how you doing, bud? Haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for joining in. Party like Snoop. Oh, except for gin and juice, it was vodka and Sprite. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a little bit of, so, you know, president of the Pakaloa Club this weekend, eh, Austin? <laughs> so, 137. I've been locked where I am for a bit because none of the ones I need are pop. Yeah, um, well, it's, yeah, well, you don't need that many either. Um, they'll pop up. They'll pop up here and there. Okay, so it looks like we may get to break in here. I think I'm going to close it out. Not a lot happening on the hot stove, so we're going to close trades, and we're going to get to ripping. All right, so let's see. Can can I make it work twice? That is the, that is the million-dollar question. So if I go like this, should. In theory, it does. It pops up. Gosh, I'm so proud of myself. Like, really proud of myself. You guys have no idea. For like months, I have tried to figure out how to do this. And I, I think you can change colors and stuff. It'd be really neat. Um, not perfect, but it, at least it shows you who's in the break. I always sometimes feel bad when people come in mid-break and I don't see the comment that comes through. It says, hey, who are my teams? And the poor people just have to like rewind in time. Trying to make a good user experience here, guys. <laughs> Even if it is just black and white on the left side of my screen. 
<laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, break two. Thank you for everyone that got into the break. Um, let's pull some more Don Ross. Let's do this. Let's have fun with it. All right. And then maybe for break three, we'll go late night and play some music. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe if we're lucky. Or we could stay serious. And we can we can see about we can stay serious, have no music, just keep hunting for that ultra rare or that whammy. Some good autos. So here we go. The only thing I don't like about having this on the left side is you guys can't see the card. So I'll try and keep the box like somehow, some way. There. We'll keep it like that. Kind of takes away from the card garden. But here we go. First pack. Good luck, everyone. And again, thank you to all of you that got in the break. Let's see what we can get in box number two, break number two. We're going to start out with a Quang Yin Kim, a Donovan Solano, and a Bryce Harper, Sammy Sosa, and there's Ken Griffey Jr. Nice one. Whit Merrifield, and we pick up where we left off with the 2021s. There's a Vladimir Guerrero. That's going to the Nationals. That's going to Teresa. This one numbered 529 out of 2021. So a nice one there for Teresa. Vlad Guerrero, one of my favorite players of all time. Um, for some of you younger guys that don't remember, he uh, retired not too long ago, but dude didn't wear batting gloves. Dude hit it from his toes to his head. Dude would string it. Dude would string it. Uh, but back when they actually did intentional walks and they actually had to throw the pitches. There's a Trevor Story blue. He would swing at the balls that were supposed to be intentionally walked, and he'd hit them, and he'd hit them far. Dude had amazing power. Um, and when you look at his numbers, uh, he's on par with the greats. So Vladimir Guerrero, that's a nice one there for Teresa. Here we go. Second pack, Luis Castillo. We've got Renato Nunez. Big Poppy, David Ortiz. And there's a Juan Soto Diamond Kings. Also going to the Nats. So Teresa's starting off hot with the Nats. And we've got Luis Patino. That is a rated rookie. And look at this one. A Liberty Reggie Jackson. Liberty emoji. That's a cool one there. Not numbered. And this one is going to the Angels. I was wondering. I, a lot of different Reggie Jackson cards you can get. But... The team that this card goes to is the Halos. So Reggie Jackson Halos, Team California, not Oakland. So we get the Reggie Jackson. So that one, going to be going to Captain John. Pulls down a Reggie Jackson. Nice one there. And then we have another to 21. This one's going to be Miguel Rojas. And that is numbered 1154 out of 2021. That's going to the Marlins and Cincy Picker. So Cincy. John, his name is John. Um, congratulations on that one. If you can find him on a Rangers unit, yeah. Um, all right, and then we have Jose Abreu. Didn't he end? He ended his career with the Rangers, didn't he? I know he went into the hall as a halo. Um, there's Jose Abreu, blue hollow. And our next... Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, I want to see a whammy too. All right, here we go. Kyle Tucker, Justin Turner, Brad Keller, Steve Garvey, D Dodgers, and then we have Bam Bam, and that is wow, it just says Bam Bam. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, this is uh, uh, not Brandon Lowe. Um, no, yeah, this is Brandon Lowe. Um, so we get the Bam Bam uh, variation. I did not know that was his nickname. That. That, that was kind of difficult one there for me. <laughs> okay, Pete Alonzo. I don't know everyone. All right, and then we have a Josh Donaldson career stat line. This one's numbered 323 out of 500. This, and I love how the team name is the Mini Apple. So the career 508 slugging percentage. So you get the card numbered to 500. And this is going to the Minneapolis, a.k.a. Minneapolis. And then we have a Matt Olson blue. For the athletics. 
So Donruss trying to catch me off guard a little bit with the Bam Bam nickname and the mini apple, which was a little less obscure than Cream City, which is Milwaukee, which I'd never heard it called that before. Um, retired as an Oriole. So Jeff would have known that, right? Oh, yeah, that's why I said great Oriole. Mike Yastrzemski. Randy Arozarena, that is a second-year card. Uh, we've got Yadir Molina, Mr. Wade Boggs, and that's going to be on the Red Sox. And a Leody Tavares rated rookie, Yadir Molina. And picking up where we left off, a Mike Trout red, numbered 671 to 2021. So Captain John... We get another Trout Parallel. We are on the Trout Parallel bandwagon tonight. I love it. It's an Instagram-worthy cards here. The Mike Trout, red on red, love it. Wearing his mask like a good baseball player in 2020 would have. And we got a Carlos Carrasco for the Indians. That one's going to Teresa as well. That's a blue hollow. Our history with great players is really unmatched. I don't know, Jeff. The Angels, for years, would sign aging, like Reggie Jackson. Um, you name it. If, the, if it was an aging superstar, the Angels were all over it. Look at Albert Pujols. We signed him when he was, wasn't he like, he said he was 30. We signed him to like a 10-year contract when he was like 37 years old. And if you recall, last year at this time, I was saying Albert Pujols is way older than 40 years old. And now it all comes out. I was right. <laughs> Corbin Burns, that was my hot take a year ago. You Darvish, uh, Dominic Smith, Randy Johnson, that's probably Diamond, yep, Diamondbacks. Christian uh, Javier, rated rookie for the Astros. We got Bigfoot, and that is Lucas Giolito, I believe. So we got Bigfoot, nickname variation, and a Vlad Guerrero Jr., red hollow, numbered 7 it's a nice one. Um, Diamond Kings, and it is numbered 785 out of 2021. So Vlad Guerrero Jr. red parallel. So the senior and junior coming in the same box. Nice one. And we get an 87 Rod Carew blue parallel or hollow blue for the Twins. Just curious how you get into breaks. Um, is it a box? Uh, is it a uh, is it box to box or stream to stream? Um, you get into breaks. Best way to do it: become a Patreon. Uh, my patrons get first access to all the breaks, and they normally buy them all up. Not always, but um, normally they do. Like on this break, we sold out three of them, um, and. I'm only one person, so I can only break so many boxes in a night. Uh, but you can join Patreon for as low as $2 a month. There's a link to the uh, Patreon page if you want to get more information on the pinned comment on this live stream. There's a Keston Hira, Francisco Lindor. Would love to have you, Austin. So um, if you're interested, uh, most of the people that are in this stream are Patreons. Um, real nice group of people. There's a Discord uh, group that's really active. Miguel Rojas, Ozzy Smith. Um, lots of different benefits you can get. And let's see. I think we have our first auto in here. We've got Kestaddy. That's a Keston here, a nickname. Then we have Tim Anderson Diamond Kings, and that's going to be our reveal card that we will use for our first auto. But before we do that, we have an Alex Rodriguez Blue Hollow, and that one's going to be for the Mariners. So that one going out to Joatech. And let's see who our first auto is in break number two. It's going to be, oh, we were upside down. It's going to be Willem Contreras for the Braves. So that one going out to Cincinnati Picker. And it is not a numbered one, so that is a base. So we get a Willem Contreras base catcher, rookie catcher for the Braves. So not a bad little auto there. Always good to get a batter. Oh, Willem Contreras for the Braves. So that will be our first auto of the box. And then, of course, we have our Tim Anderson Diamond King. I should, uh, all right, that Mike Trout was a photo variation. Was it? Well, hold on. Hold on. So I kind of wonder because the other Mike Trout, 
man, the photo variations are tough. And unlike, see, last year what they did, and they didn't do it this year. Um, last year what they did when it was a variation, the Don Russ logo changed. They did not do that this year, so they're much harder to find. Um, I should have known that because we did pull the other Mike Trout, and it did not look like that. But the Mike Trout image variation for the uh, top set is also him with the mask. All right, Dustin, your team is signing aging stars while the Reds are good at trading star players. Yeah, no kidding. Um, yeah, the, the Angels historically are really good. I mean, even Vlad Guerrero, he wasn't really aging, but they signed for years, man. That was, that was their, like, recipe for success. Let's sign the aging stars to bloated contracts and see if they'll do good for us. All right, here we go. Colton Wong, Ian Happ. Nicholas Castellanos, Mike Piazza, Jose Ramirez, and we got a Clark Schmidt rated rookie, and it looks like we're going to have a, our second auto already, and it's going to be a short and sweet auto, so that could be interesting. We also get a Craig Biggio blue, that's going to be for the Astros in Steel City. We have our second. We'll use Clark Schmidt as the reveal here. But this is going to be a short and sweet auto. So I believe this is going to be a... I believe it'll be a veteran auto, not a rookie auto. But let's see. It's going to be... It will be. And it is an Adam Duvall. And it is numbered... What number is that? 90 out of 99. And Adam Duvall, that one also... Going to the Braves. This is the short and sweet auto that you can get out of these. So this is a little bit of a, a lower. Um, the signature series are the most common ones, but the short and sweets are also available. Not, not to be confused with the Swisher Sweet. This is a short and sweet. Nice little Adam Duvall for the Braves. Nice blue parallel, numbered 90 to 99. So Cincinnati Picker picks up. Both of the autos in break number two, but we do still have a relic, obviously a ton, and I believe that's the relic pack. So we're going to save that. They're all sitting right next to each other. We'll save the relic, see what we can get out of there. And our next pack is going to be Freddie Freeman, Jack Flaherty, Jose Barrios, Dale Murphy, and an Alex Kirilov, which... He was not available in Series 1, but is available here. So we get the Kirilov, rated rookie. Nice one there for the Twins. That's going to Joatech. And then we have Chef G, a.k.a. Garrett Cole, nickname variation. And we mentioned it earlier. And although we didn't get the auto, we do get a Cabrian Hayes first rookie card from the major sets, a Cabrian Hayes rated rookie, red parallel, numbered 1435 out of 2021. That one going to Teresa. She had offers on those pirates. She said, uh-uh, I'm looking for Cabrian. She makes the right call there, keeps her team, gets rewarded with the Cabrian Hayes. Nice little hit there for Teresa. Congratulations on that one. Actually, not little. That's a nice hit straight up. We got Matt Chapman, a blue hollow parallel. That one's going out to the A's. Two Atlanta players. Yes. Uh, fielding Castellanos is the greatest fielding outfielder ever, said no one ever. Yeah, no, that is absolutely true. Rafael Devers, Giancarlo Stanton, Kenta Maeda, Paul Molitor as we do the turn turn dance every other card upside down okay here we go trevor bauer diamond king a rated rookie jazz chisholm and jazz is also another one of those rookies that was not in series one but is in don ross so this one going out to the marlins and cincinnati picker as well and then for the rockies we have a career stat line this one numbered 216 out of 262 a Nolan Arenado. Um, the 262 represents 262 doubles. That one going out to Mr. Steel City. 
So, Dan, congrats on that one. Nice Nolan Arenado. Number to 262. I love that they do the numbers kind of correlating to what the actual stat is. And then for the Mariners, we have a nice one here. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a what they call a starburst in the printing field um, where you get a little dot. And I'll show you what that means here in a second. Still going to sleeve this up, but this is a rated rookie, Evan White. This one's going out to Joatech. But as you can see, see that little dot right here? Let me. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. See that little dot right here? That is what they call a starburst in printing, which normally means that there was like a speck of dust on the printer, and then the ink doesn't fall right, and it makes like a little starburst on the paper. So unfortunately, a fantastic looking card, but a little bit of a starburst in the printing, unfortunately. So not a 10, but still a very nice Evan White nonetheless. Um, sharp corners and everything, but... Probably not a gradable card, but definitely raw. An Evan White blue hollow going to hold some value. That one going to Joe Tech. All right, next pack. Let's do it. So we're pulling a lot of those rookies that you can't get in Series 1 out of here. I like that. All right, here we go. Martin Perez, Starling Marte. There's Bo Bichette and a Keith Hernandez. And, well, is this... Is this, see, I, I can't tell what makes this, there's no way that both of these are the image variation, but hey, it's a Mike Trout nonetheless, and we're going to take it. There's the Mike Trout. That's the base. We pulled the numbered one earlier. We also have a Jack Flaherty Diamond King and a nice Steve Garvey, numbered 464 out of 2021 Red Parallel. This one going to the Dodgers who is also Cincinnati picker. I believe since I uh, believe John had four spots in this break, so we'll hear his name throughout the night. Um, Teresa does always get fired. Then we have a Bryce Harper blue for the Phillies. That's going to JR's cards. Then our next box. It is the photo variation. The base is him batting. So we've got two photo variations. That is interesting. Yeah, it's what's weird is normally, I wish there was an easier way to be able to tell the photo variation because there's probably other ones that I'm missing. That's one thing I did not do. I normally, especially the first time I'm opening up a set, I normally go look at the variations just right before the break just to cut, try and have some muscle memory. I did not do that. I was busy putting kids away. There's Cole Calhoun a.k.a. Cole Calboom, Trevor Story, there's Rizzo, John Smoltz, 14-time All-Star Alex Rodriguez, there's the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Diamond King base, and a U Darvish for the Cubbies going to Joatech. This one's going to be numbered 882 out of 2021. So the U Darvish, U Darvish. Or as my local radio sports guy in the afternoon, he'll sing it, you Darvish. And we have a beautiful one right here for the Orioles. We've got Ryan Mountcastle. I'm actually surprised Jeff didn't try and trade for the Orioles here. Uh, but this one's going to JR's cards. That is a Ryan Mountcastle Blue Hollow Parallel Rated Rookie. Nice one there. JR, congratulations. Try to buy a gym bat down and it just closed at $1,700. That's insane. <coughs> Excuse me. There'll be one more of those sneezes. They always come in twos. I didn't take my allergy meds today. That could be a problem. <laughs> okay, Liam Hendricks, Ramon Laureano. I always forget to take it on Sundays because I'm lazy on Sundays. Brandon Woodruff. There's a Cal Ripken. Nice one there. Paul Molitor, 87. Bryce Harper, Diamond Kings. And we have a Josh Donaldson. And this is a Independence Day par uh, emoji parallel for the Twins. And we have a Marcel Osuna blue parallel. 
Blue Hollow. And our next pack. Shalani pulled a bat down from retail. So the bat down, for those of you that are kind of new to collecting and weren't collecting in 2018 and kind of into 2019, the bat down Acuna was a short print in Top Series 2 in 2018. He is not in, well, he's in update, but um, the update is not the bat down. It's bat up. Brandon Lau, Cattell Marte. And he was in about one of every three hobby boxes. That was about the average. Um, so if you pulled that in retail, it was a really hard pull. Adalberto Mondesi, Roger Clemens, Clayton Kershaw, and those cards are all, like, I think all of them have been graded. Miguel Cabrera. And there's a Vlad Guerrero Sr. That one's going to Teresa as well. And that is an Independence Day parallel. And we end that pack with a Josh Hader. A nice little Hader for the Brewers. Going to Giovanni. Breaking with us for the first time. So we'll see if we can get Giovanni some more parallels like that. Hader going as the number one closer in fantasy formats. He is the number one. He's probably the best closer in the game right now. I would agree with that. Um, all right, here we go. Next pack. Reese Haskins. Byron Buxton. Joy Gallo, Ken Griffey, and a Tyler Stevenson rated rookie. That's going to the Reds. That'll go to Cincy Picker. Then we've got Josh Donaldson, and we have a backwards Evan White. And this is an Evan White, may, maybe making up a little bit for that starburst on the blue hollow, but this is the Independence Day rated rookie Evan White. Nice one for Joe Tech. Beautiful blue on blue, too. Take that all day. Like it. And then we have another nice one for the White Sox. This is going to David T. We got Eloy Jimenez. I actually think Eloy is flying under the radar. Eloy may be a little, well, I don't know. He's probably valued where he should be right now. But Eloy may be a little under the radar. A little overshadowed by a lot of stars on that team. And the other guy is Andrew Vaughn. Um, Andrew Vaughn's having a real nice spring, too. Andrew Vaughn's probably going to get called up at some point this year. Keep an eye on him. Um, all right, here we go. Mr. Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. Everyone now expects him to be the face of baseball. That's a lot of pressure. He's young. Wilmer Flores, Johnny Cueto, Mariano Rivera, and we have a Sam Huff rated rookie for the Rangers. That's going to JR's cards as well. We've got a Boba in an interesting spot. Um, and yep, this is a variation. That's the six. So as you can see, that is another variation. Tough to find them, but you can see the team name down here. Toronto, the six. And we have a Didi Gregorius. For the Phillies, this one's going to be number. This one's going to JR's. It's going to be number 1951 out of 2021. So JR picking up here a little bit in the middle of break number two. So he gets the Didi, and our blue is going to be the Antonio Senzatella for the Rockies. All right, next pack. Matt P has a video of the poll on it. Uh, wait, what poll are we talking about? Hold on, hold on. You want to trade for my Ichiro? Mistakes were made. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, we got a Trey Turner. We got a Jacob DeGrom. Matt Chapman. Jose Canseco. Roger Clemens, 354 career wins, and like 200 of those weren't with steroids. Um, Nelson Cruz. Sorry for all you Clemens fans. Uh, and a nice one here for the Twins. We've got a season uh, season stats parallel. This one is the season whip of 0. .75 in 2020. So the card is numbered 24 out of 75. So a low numbered Kenta Maeda, relatively low numbered uh, Kenta Maeda, Going out to the Twins and Joe Tech. So Joe Tech, nice one there. The Kenta Maeda. 
And we have a Garrett Cole blue as well. Stevens cards lurking in the background decides to pop his head up and say hello. How you doing, Stevens? Don't don't type. Don't don't hype Eloy too much. Yeah, he's I mean, there's people to collect Eloy. Um who is it? Is it 539? 539 collects uh collects he's got tons of Eloys. Uh Josh Hader, Carlos Carrasco, Dallas Keichel, Reggie Jackson, nice one there. And there's Joey Bart. I'm surprised we didn't pull him in the last box. But it is Donruss. It's not Tops or Bowman. So um, maybe maybe that's why. But a nice Joey Bart for the Giants. Let's go into Mr. Zach Poopa. So, Zach, congratulations on that one. Nice Joey Bart rookie. And we get Max Scherzer. And I don't believe that's an image variation. But, um, again, it's in that one weird spot where they kind of show up. Here's a Max Freed for the Braves. So, Braves are obviously having a real nice spot. For this box. Max Freed, that's an Independence Day parallel. And we have a blue Kevin Biggio for the Blue Jays. Blue Jays tonight going to David T. Crack him. I almost bought into this break. So glad I didn't. The, uh, the way he opens the packs and takes the cards off screen, I would lose my mind. Really, Crack him. It's pretty jaded. No kidding. Um, I mean, you said it, not me. But hey, um, Josh Bell. Oh, wait, this is the back of the pack. Um, Michael Comforto, Corey Seeger, Will Myers, Rafael Par Palmero, the Tominator. Love that nickname. Anthony Rizzo. And there's Aaron Nola, 1605 out of 2021. There's a nice Aaron Nola. As if I'm like magically like switching cards out in two seconds off screen. <laughs> Jaded. Um, I mean, that's a thing. So there we go. 1605. Yeah. So if any of you guys are really mad at me for taking cards, I mean, <laughs> there's only so much screen I have. I need to be able to move. Josh Bell. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, thank you, Shalani, for being a moderator. Uh, there's a Josh Bell. That's a blue hollow. And we have in our next pack. A. Hold on. We'll keep these on screen for you guys. That way, you know, I'm not doing anything. Jameer Candelario. Sandy Alcantara. Um, Hinjin Ryu. Andre Dawson. And Andreas Jimenez rated rookie. That one going out to the Mets, although it should go to the Indians because that's who he plays for now. But for now, that's going to Joe Tech. And we have a Fernando Tatis Jr. And this is a short print name variation for Slam Diego. So a cool one here. This one going to the Padres. That's a loose card, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so moving on. There's the Fernando Tatis Jr. Slam Diego card. I like that. Um, and then right after that, this happened in our last box, and it happened in this box too. I didn't pull this one off screen. You know, I switched this one. Um, but two in a row, Fernando Tatis Jr. And this is a low-numbered parallel, numbered eight out of 2021. So Fernando Tatis Jr. And this is also the Slam Diego Name variation number 2021. So two parallel Fernando Tatis Jr. I took an Anthony Senzatella card, switched that one out because I needed that one in my PC, decided I'd put this Fernando Tatis Jr. on here for you guys instead. So there's that one. But by the way, since we did it in the last break with the two Mike Trouts, parallel, parallel, Fernando Tatis Jr., both of these, by the way, go into Mark S, who has the Padres. And finally, we have our Blue Hollow, which is going to be a Mike Clevenger. Not to pick on Anthony Senzatella, just saying. I've really wanted that card, so I figured I had to switch a Fernando in. 
<laughs> when I just figured I had to do that. All right, here we go. Next pack. Tyler Glass now. Dansby Swanson. There's a Ronald Acuna. We've got that one. Need to be sleeved on this channel. And we have Bo Ono's 1987 Donruss. And there's Casey Mize making his first appearance of the night. Casey Mize for the Tigers. It's going to Mark S. Keep that card right in the middle of the screen for you. Um, <laughs> first time ever. It won't be the last, I guarantee it. I'm going to have to make a Sunsatella emoji. So there's the Casey Mize. Then we have the Chris Bryant and Dansby Swanson. And that is going to be numbered. That's a red as well. Number 1278 out of 2021. The only thing about these reds, man, it's hard to read those numbers. Um, there's the Dansby. I got Dansby in my fantasy uh, mock draft today. If you're looking for a shortstop in the middle rounds because you didn't get one of the top ones, Dansby is kind of a nice, nice value pick in the middle of a draft. Um, all right. I say that because we're drafting a week from today, guys. Take lessons. Luis Garcia, rated rookie, blue hollow parallel. That's going out to the Nationals. That's going to Ms. Teresa. So anytime we get a parallel rookie, it's because I wanted that Sons of Telecard for myself. So I figured I'd throw that one in there for you as well. Cordette, take one of your trouts out of your piece, Lee, and slip it into a break. Yes, I should do that. Um, I should, uh, I should grab one right now. <laughs> what if I just said that? I've next, no, okay. I'll tell you what. Next sends a telecard that comes out. I'm trading it in for a trout, but I'm going to take the sends a tele off screen. It'll magically become a trout. All right. All right. Enough of that. I'm moving on now. <laughs> Eloy Jimenez, Jose Abreu. As if just... Okay, one more thing. I'm so sinister, I know. Miguel Cabrera, Ricky Henderson, Starling Marte, and we have a Kyber Ruiz rookie card for the Dodgers. Going to Cincy Picker. And another numbered red. This one, Gary Carter. I believe we got the Gary Carter in the last break. We get him here. This one's numbered 1066 out of 2021. I think it's not a bobblehead move. <laughs> Hold on. Can we make? Wait, it wasn't me. The trout's moving in the back. <laughs> so there is Gary Carter. Now I'm just being mean. I'll stop. Um, and then I have a David Fletcher blue. Fletcher, gosh, I hope he has a good season. I hope he has a good season. But there we go. David Fletcher for the Halos. All right, we've got two more packs in the break, and then we're going to get to break three, guys. All right. We're going to start with an Anthony Rendon, a J.P. Crawford, Luke Voigt, Larry Walker, a Raphael Devers, and a Nate Pearson. Nate Pearson is a, by the way, Nate Pearson should be getting more love. He is rated really high on the prospect list. So we got a Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. That one going to David T. And then we have Pete Alonzo, numbered 1641 out of 2021. And that one is going to Joatek on the Mets. And finally... We have a blue Tony Two Bags, Anthony Rendon for the Angels. Tony Two Bags is his nickname because he hits lots of doubles. So creative. That one's going to Captain John. Hoy. And now we are down to our last pack. Cordette, you taking off? All right. You have a fantastic rest of your evening. Thank you for hanging out, Cornette. Always appreciate it. Always good to see you. Good luck at work. Have a great week. Okay, last pack. Let's get some mojo here, guys. Marcel Osuna, Matt Olson, Dylan Bundy, Doc Gooden in the 87 design. We've got a Yaz. And we've got something gold coming. I think we might have an artist proof coming up, which if we do, that'll be numbered to 10. 
or less. There's a Yaz. That is a nickname short, short print going out to the Giants. It's going to Zach. We have an Anthony Santander. That was Sensatella. That was close. That was close. And we're going to, we're going to save that gold one right there for last. Um, and I mentioned it at the beginning of the break. I said, let's pull a nice Yelly. How about a Diamond Kings blue Yelly? Blue Hollow Parallel going out to, of course, the Brew Crew and Giovanni. So, Giovanni, there's a nice Yelly for you. Diamond Kings Blue Hollow. And our. I believe this is going to be a, yep, it is going to be an artist proof or something like that. It is a Tyler Glass now for the Tampa Bay Rays artist proof number two, 10. It is six out of 10. Oh yeah, I do still have the relic. Oh yeah, duh. We got the relic card. But this was last pack mojo right here. Because we got a six out of 10 Tyler Glass now. Go to the Rays. That's going to David T., David T had kind of a quiet break, but then in one of the last packs before the relic pack that's hiding back here, I was actually going to take it off screen and switch it out with something else. <laughs> the Tyler Glass now, six out of 10 artist proof, beautiful card there. Congratulations on that one, David. Beautiful glass now, six out of 10. And we do have the relic pack. We didn't take it off screen. Why would we do that? Matthew P, still waiting to, uh, to time out Shalaney right when he's about to pull a Kyle Lewis auto. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. We get a Brad Hand. Let's see, I'm speaking of Kyle Lewis. There's a Kyle Lewis second year card. And there he is. Nope, it's not. Sensatella, guys. It's got to be Sensatella. That's Anthony Santander. Uh, Fergie Jenkins. We've got a rated rookie, Davey Garcia. A rated rookie, Tristan McKenzie, which is going to be our reveal card, because our card back here is going to be a Jeff Bagwell. Oh, wait, on our Tyler Glass now. I didn't put this one up there. Oh, that, that card almost made it off screen. Um, there's a Jeff Bagwell. We have the Tristan McKenzie, and our relic in this box going to be... Oh, look at that! La Pantera, Luis Robert, beautiful relic going to David T. So David T comes back with a vengeance in the last two packs of the box. Gets himself an artist proof Tyler Glass out of 10 and a Luis Robert relic. Nice pull there. Congratulations on that one, David. Beautiful looking Robert Relic, second year. Nice way to end that break. So that is break number two, guys. We've got one more box to go. Let me get these off the mat here real fast. Hopefully you guys don't mind if I take them off screen so I can package them up for you. And we'll go through the hits here real quick. And uh, I, I, so funny thing. So Zach, the sheriff, which we haven't seen the sheriff tonight. Patience did pay off, David, big time. Okay, so, um, but Zach the other night, I think it was Friday, he sends me a picture on Discord and he goes, hey, he goes, I got the wrong card in my pack. And I'm like, oh man, I thought I like screwed something up, which I have done that in the past. Um, and it's really hard to figure out what you did because you've now sent off dozens of packages and you're like, I have no idea who has your card. Um, but but um, good news is it doesn't happen that often. But he, so he freaks me out and says, hey, I got the wrong card in my pack. And if you remember, um, he had, he hit the Joe Adele Chrome and I sent it to him anyways, because I forgot to pull it out. And we made like a whole deal. Um, he paid me less. He, uh, for the, he, he paid a little less in the break. So I literally bought the card off him. I sent it to him anyways. That's how dishonest I am. Um, I send people cards that, they, that I've bought off them. I, I let them keep them. I just, just let them keep them, even though I bought them. Okay, so here we go. Break number two, highlights. 
Last card was a Luis Robert Relic. That's a sweet one. David T made out with these both these cards. The Tyler Glasnow Artist Proof. Nice one there. Um, Switch. <laughs> Kids, all, I know it does. Okay, six out of 10. Um, Kristen Yelich, that is the Diamond King Blue Parallel. Tony Two Bags. Anthony Rendon. Pete Alonso to 2021. Gary Carter to 2021. Luis Garcia Rated Rookie Blue Hollow Parallel. Dansby Swanson to 2021. Casey Mize Rated Rookie Base. Fernando Tatis Slam Diego Variation numbered to 2021. And the Fernando Tatis Slam Diego Base. Aaron Nola, numbered to 2021. Joey Bart, base rookie. Kenta Maeda, season highlights, numbered 24 out of 75. D.D. Gregorius, numbered to 2021. The Evan White, Independence Day, rated rookie parallel. Nice card there. Uh, the Ryan Mountcastle, rated rookie blue, hollow. That's a nice one. New Darvish, to 2021. Steve Garvey, Dodger great, to 2021. The Evan White, rated rookie blue, hollow. We got the Nolan Arenado career uh, stats to 262. And a very cool card here. The Cabrian Hayes rated rookie number to 2021. Our second auto of the night was Adam Duvall, the short and sweet. This one numbered to 99, 90 out of 99. And then our second auto was a Willem Contreras signature series base auto. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, Diamond King numbered to 2021. The Mike Trout image variation. Numbered to 2021. The Josh Donaldson career uh, stats numbered to 500. Miguel Rojas to 2021. The Reggie Jackson Liberty Parallel. And we started the box with a Vladimir Guerrero Sr. numbered to 2021. So a very nice box for box number two as well. And that's going to bring us box number Three. Let me get these off the table. And everyone that is in this stack that I completely just switched out with all brand new cards, all these, um, those will be all sleeved up if they weren't sleeved up already. Okay, so let's see. We're at 11.16. Let's see if we can get this one done by 12 midnight. We shall see. Whammy and Mysterious. Actually, Mysterious is not even a case hit. It is rarer than a, uh, it's rarer than a case hit. It's an, it's an ultra rare, um, kind of, I almost want to say it's like the downtown of baseball. So, you know, I got down, although Donruss Baseball had downtown last year, um, but I, it's kind of like this year's downtown that you find in some of the other like football and basketball sets. Okay, so let me get this one saved off, and we're going to get to break number three right now. And thanks for hanging with me through that a little snafu there um, in the in break number two with, with uh, accusations being thrown about. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, hey, I guess. Um, but my, if Sensatella shows up in this break, I'm switching it out for a trout. I'm going to find one on the spot. We're switching it out for a trout just so you can, I can show you how shady I am. It's not going to be that trout though. Cause that one's, that one's on screen. It can't be that one. It has to be one off screen. Okay. So let's do this. Any spots for a new Patreon? Well, first of all, Austin, if you became a patron, um, thank you. The breaks tonight are all, are, are all sold out, but I do break weekly. So we will have more breaks. I, they will get announced uh, probably early next week sometime. Normally I announce on like a Tuesday or Wednesday. Kind of depends on when the sets are coming out and what we're breaking. Um, but the main thing I would tell any new Patreon is if you are an, new to Patreon, make sure you have the app on your phone and you have push notifications turned on. So when I announce, uh, so when I make a, so when I make a post, an announcement post, you are alerted on your phone because it still is first come, first serve. But I try and buy enough product that we can get everyone in. If we end up having to do three breaks, we do three breaks. That's the way, unless I don't have enough product. And then sometimes I make people mad, I guess. Um, okay, so here we go. We're going to roll the dice. Let's see. Joe Tech, go get some sleep. Thank you for getting in the break. We will see you soon, bud. Thanks for hanging out um, and have a good next week. All right, so here we go. Let's roll the dice. This one, whoa, that dice went crazy. Well, that one's got to roll again because we rolled a one. All right, here we go. Now, if, the, if we roll the one again, 
Now, if I roll the dice and it ends up off screen, did it, did it really roll? And for all three breaks, we roll a two for the team um, randomization. So let's do this. I'm gonna go to display and we're gonna go, well, actually that's break number two. So this is break number three. And pull chat off. All right, so here we go. Here's all the teams. I didn't actually mention everyone that's in the break, but you guys can see it on screen. Nightshade's in here. Miles is in here. We got the Rebel, Brandon, James, just Jeff, Fenster, Zach P. All right, so here we go. We're going to do the teams twice. So let's randomize. We got one, and we got two. All right, we got the twins on the top, and them damn Yankees on the bottom. Right? And let's see here. We'll paste this in. Come back here. And we'll do it again. Roll the dice. This time we get a four. I, I feel like we've rolled those for all three of the breaks. Or maybe we did three on the first one. But here we go. Do this again. Let's get the. Here's everyone, Zach Poopa in all three breaks. Had a strategy going in, love it. Zach, see, see the strategy is gonna pay off here in break three. Here we go. Randomize four times, one and two and three, four. All right, Nightshade on the top, just Jeff on the bottom. Paste this in, and this is how the break turns out. Second here, we're gonna hide this so you guys can see. We're going to alphabetize. I'm gonna pull chat up. We are open for trades. All right, so. Here we go, my push notifications. Push notifications still don't work. Yeah, you may wanna go into the app, make sure that you've got the latest, uh, make, make sure your app updates. That I've noticed that that sometimes is an issue. I'm on uh, Android. I, I can't tell you how it works on Apple. Um, I've always been an Android guy. One of these days I'll probably switch over and get sucked into the Apple board, but I'm still, I'm still out there in the wild west using Android. So, um, all right, we are open for trades. Here's what we, here's where we ended up. We got the Halos going to Fenster's Finds, Astros to James P, the Aids going to Nightshade, Blue Jays going to Fenster. We got the Braves and the Brewers going to Matt M, the Cardinals going to Brandon J, the Cubs going to Miles C, Diamondbacks to Matt M, Dodgers to just Jeff. We've got the Giants going to Brandon, Indians going to Rebel, Mariners going to Ryan R, Marlins going to just Jeff, Mets going to Ryan R, Nats going to Matt M, uh, Orioles going to Brandon J. We got the Padres going to Nightshade. The Phillies, the Pirates, and the Rangers going to Brandon. We've got the Rays going to Fenster's Fines. We've got the Red Sox going to Zach Poopa. We've got the Reds going to James P. Rockies going to Rebel. Royals going to Just Jeff. Tigers going to Matt M. Twins going to Nightshade. White Sox going to Rebel. And the Yankees going to Just Jeff. So a nice, uh, nice little mix of teams there. A lot of the people in break number three have uh, multiple spots, so ended up kind of... Ended up kind of even. So let's see. Do we have any trades on the board? Um, David T, have a fantastic evening. Thanks for hanging out. Congratulations on those last couple hits in those last two packs. Patience is a virtue, and it paid off tonight for you. Congratulations. Hope you have a good week next week. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, bud. Um, all right. So Miles has the Cubs up for trade. And let's see. Jay Chez, uh, for sale of trade on Discord. Okay. Uh, Nightshade gets the A's. He's happy about it. So if you're looking for the A's, you're not going to get them because Nightshade's keeping them. And the funny part is an Angels fan. The A's are like my least favorite team. And as an A's fan, the Angels are probably your, well, right now it's probably the Astros. But historically, the Angels and the A's play really competitive games with each other and the crowds hate each other. Um, it's, it's, almost, it's, it's like the minor league version of the Dodgers and the Giants. <laughs> it's, it really is. Um, 
because both those teams, like the Giants are the big team up in the Bay Area, Dodgers are the big team in LA. But if you go to an Angels A's game, man, those fans hate each other just like the Dodgers and Giants fans. It's 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 fun. The only time I ever got kicked out of a baseball game, I was young. I was like in my young twenties, but these A's fans were heckling us and we were heckling A's fans. And it ended up that I think someone threw a beer and I threw a beer and it was not my finest hour. Let's put it that way. Next thing I knew I was getting kicked out of a stadium, feeling proud, probably had drank too much and was young enough to not be able to handle it. But that's what happens. You get worked up out there in those bleachers. All right. So let's see. Um, Miles, not in this, but would uh, buy Cubs from you. Um, I mean, I that uh, I mean, I'm fine with that. If Miles is cool with that, I I could do that. I think Miles Miles' spot would have been well, it was six plus shipping, so yeah, it'd be four, uh, or it'd be ten. That's what Miles would have paid. So uh, let's see here. Brendan Jansen, 100% happy with the team draw. Now, I'll be honest. In breaks, that doesn't happen all the time. So congratulations on that one, Brandon. Um, I'll get a hold of James one second. Um, that is alcohol abuse. It is alcohol abuse throwing power, Jolly. Um, it was, I, I, if I recall, I, I think my, it was Mike Piazza when he played on the A's. The Angels were up. And we had been heckling each other, and it was like the eighth inning. So we probably were drinking too much. I was probably like 23 at the time. Um, and Mike Piazza ripped a home run, and those guys hammered us so – they were heckling us so hard. And they had kind of thrown some beer at us, and I I chucked my beer. And by the way, if you ever chuck a plastic a plastic cup of beer, it doesn't actually go anywhere. The The – cup goes somewhere but the beer just spills out immediately um and it gets all over everyone and so everyone else was like hey we're just trying to enjoy a ball game here and these idiots are heckling each other for the last hour and a half can you get these guys out of here so that's why they kicked us all out um which they should have we were being stupid (laughs) so so um but I've, but yeah, uh, other than that, there was one other time where I, where I almost got kicked out of a game watching an Indians game, but this Indians guy was coming up. Uh, he was like in my face and he wanted to fight. Um, and I really hadn't even said anything. He, he They were heckling us and I was like, yeah, just look at the scoreboard, buddy. And I kept kind of saying that. And I think he had had too much to drink. And for whatever reason, they tried to kick us both out. But I was like, I'm just sitting here, man. He walked over two freaking two aisles to my face. So they did end up kicking him out. Um, and I got to stay, but that was, all, that was another time. I'm a little, little nervous time. All right. Is the discord link on Patreon somewhere? Um, awesome, Matt, that you sent that. Um, yeah, normally I got to figure out how to get that on there. Um, but, uh, but Austin, I will send you a like legitimate, like, um, welcome message probably, uh, tomorrow sometime. So, and if that discord that Matt posted on there doesn't work for whatever reason, just let me know. And we'll, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll give you a link anyway. Yeah. They don't, they don't allow heckling like they used to, you know, back, back in the day, back before, you know, planes were getting thrown into buildings and back before, you know, people brought guns everywhere. Um, and all of that, you could get away with a lot of that stuff because, you know, People actually had the spine and the skin to handle it. Nowadays, everyone's so freaking sensitive. You can't, you can't do that stuff anymore. Um, and it's probably for the best. All right, we're going to say trades going once. Do we have any other trades in here? Um, I'm probably going to say trades going twice, too. Got in, just got to change my name. Yep, totally cool. Austin, gl- glad to have you. Thanks again for becoming a patron. I think you will... Um, I mean, you can ask most people. The group is fantastic. Um, it's it's a fun group to be in. Uh, that Discord is is active all the time. Um, there's people on there daily. Uh, you can buy, sell, trade stuff. Um, there's a Patreon only group. You can kind of see where the personals are. It's a place where you can show off all your hits and stuff. It's it's a fun group. Um, I always enjoy the live pressing questions where you can ask crazy things like, "Is it okay to heckle people and throw beer when there's families around?" <laughs> 
Probably not, but some people might say yes. So, okay, so uh, we're going to say trades closed. So we can stop staring at random.org and stuff. Let's get to breaking. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to get set up here. One more second. Steel City, I'm very rude on the Discord. The rudest person on Discord is not you, Steel City. It's definitely Viking. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Did that work? Did that work? It did work. Okay, so there's everyone in the break. Let me get chat pulled up, and we're going to get to break. And thanks for everyone that got into break three. Uh, it's the late night break. That's so always fun to do the late night. Yeah, Sh Shalani. Shalani isn't rude. Sh Sh Shalani is... Uh, Shalani's the VP of talent. Um, if it wasn't for Shalani, half the patrons wouldn't be here. Sh Shalani, sh at some point, it should just be charging me a finder's fee. All right, so let's get to ripping. Good luck, everyone, in break number three. We have not seen a whammy yet. We have not seen a mysterious. Not saying we're going to get one here, but if we're going to get one, it's going to be in this box. All right, so here we go. But nothing's guaranteed. All the boxes have been pretty good. So we will take that and see if we can keep that going for break number three. All right, let's see. We got Clayton on the box. I didn't even mention that. Um, we're going to get a couple autos. We'll see what we can get. Don't worry. I know this box is going off screen. That may bother some of you. Um, I probably... <laughs> Probably should go look. I wonder how many thumbs downs I have on this video now because I was heckling someone because <laughs> because we all started heckling someone. Um, that'll be interesting. Okay, pack number one and pack number one right off the bat is going to have our relic. So let's see what we get. There's definitely a relic in here. Okay, or something else. Who knows? All right, we've got Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. Dustin May. We, did, we haven't seen Dustin May all night. I think that's the first one we've seen. We've got Wade Boggs, Nicholas Castellanos, and we got a Ken Griffey, 87, Diamond Kings, Whit Merrifield, and a Ken Griffey Jr., 87 Blue. That's a nice one. That's going to the Mariners. That's going to Ryan R., and our relic, I'm assuming this is it. Yeah, this is a relic. Um, is going to be, so we get a hit right out of the first bat box. It's going to be the Cubbies. And it is a two-color relic on top of that. It is a Javier Baez with those unmistakable blue pinstripes of the Chicago Cubs. That one's going to Miles. Miles held on to the Cubs there. Put them up for trade. No one wanted them. And there's a nice Javier Baez. Well, actually, I shouldn't say no one wanted them. But Miles didn't trade out of it. Um, just one thumbs down. I can't imagine who the thumbs down is. <laughs> so, um, for a while there, I was getting like a bunch of thumbs downs, and I know exactly why um, I was getting a bunch of thumbs downs. Um, we had we had banned someone from the channel, and his five burner accounts. He kept thumbs downing everything. It's crazy how much time people have. <laughs> so there's. A nice way to start, you know what, we haven't done a card garden all night. Let's do a card garden. Take our time with break three. There's Javi Baez. Nice two-color pinstripe relic for Miles. Miles, congratulations on that one. That was pack number one. What a way to start break three. We'll take it. All right, here we go. Pack two. Mr. Trent Grisham. Brandon Belt. Steve Garvey. Anthony Santander. Sensatella, guys. Sensatella. Um, Juan Soto, Diamond King, going to the Nats. That's going to Matt. Hold the Baez relic in Series One on my first hobby. See now you got a now you got a Javier Baez. And now you got to start collecting them, man. So Miles, <laughs> Jay says I'm keeping that one. Okay, Luis Atino, and I think we have our auto. Man, these are coming out fast. All right, well before we show the auto. I'm going to do a Bo Jackson. Nice one for the Royals. That has been a little quiet all night, but that one's going to just Jeff. Nice Bo Jackson blue, blue on blue. All right, Luis Patino rated rookie, and it looks like we have 
our first auto as well. And it is going to be another Clark Schmidt. This one is a base Clark Schmidt. Um, I believe the other one we pulled was the blue. That was back in break one. So we get another Clark Schmidt. This one going to the Yankees. So this one's going to just Jeff. So Jeff, congratulations on that one, bud. And we have our second hit of the night in pack number two. If we pull the next one soon, we're going to hold it. Maybe. So Clark Schmidt, nice one there. Congratulations on that one, Jeff. And we continue on. Brad, sorry, Dustin. I had to put that one in. Oh, wait, hold on. What'd you put? Oh, no. Thumbs down it, baby. <laughs> it is uh, it is what it is. People can thumbs down. Whatever. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to build an empire here. Kyle Hendricks. Some people take this stuff way too seriously. And every once in a while, I do too. Chris Bassett. But levity should prevail. Um, Cal Ripken. Engine Ryu. And we have a rated rookie, Tyler Stevenson, and a Josh Donaldson. This is going to be a name variation. This is the mini apple. We pulled this one in break two. It's a nice one there for the twins. It's going to Nightshade. And we have our first numbered card, and it is going to be the Bam Bam nickname for Lowe. This is going to Tampa Bay Rays owner. Fenster's fine. Brian, congratulations on that one. <laughs> yes, Austin, I think you know who I'm talking about. So there we go. We've got the Bam Bam. We're going to keep our 21s off to the side here because we don't have a ton of room for a card garden. Now that I've taken one-fourth of my screen off. But look at this one, guys, for the Braves, for Matt. And we've got the Ronald Acuna Jr. Blue Hollow Parallel. Nice one there. little Acuna action. Like it. Let's throw Ronald up in the card garden. We'll have a big card garden if we throw them all up here. I'm on a day after the weekend and knocked out homework. I procrastinated. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Okay, so let's see. We've got Aaron Nola, Blake Snell, Mariano Rivera. There's a Will Myers, Bryce Harper. Let's check that one. It's in that weird spot. Uh, we got a Josh Bell Diamond Kings, and it looks like we're going to have another trending, and this one's going to be of Mike Soroka. Nice one. Again, for the Braves, and this one's going to be numbered 537 out of 999. A little Soroka action. And the trending parallel. Cool looking card right there. For the Braves, that's going to Matt M. So a trending. We'll take that. Let's do, and then our next one, this one's cool. This one's going to the Padres. This is the Fernando Tatis Blue, and it is the Slam Diego variation. So the Blue Slam Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. Going to Nightshade. So you've got the... Parallel of a, you got a parallel of a parallel, the blue parallel with the nickname parallel. Slam Diego. Cool card. All right, next pack. <laughs> Prepare for trolls. Yeah, Austin. Um, I'll let you know more about that later. I've gotten emails and everything about it. You've caused me problems, Austin. <laughs> okay, not really. I just said, hey, look, man. I just said, moderators are allowed to moderate. That, that was my response. Uh, Brian Anderson, Sonny Gray, Mike Piazza, Bo Bichette, Christian Javier, rated rookie, and there's Bigfoot, Lucas Giolito, nickname variation for the White Sox. And we have a nice Cody Bellinger, 2021 red parallel that one's numbered 773 out of 2021 that one's going to our dodgers who is also just jeff's who owns it so he's got a belly to 2021 nice one there and our last card in that pack another rated rookie blue this one of andreas jimenez going to the mets and ryan r so ryan congrats on that one um Paraception. I like that. 
Um, yeah, the, the trending do not have bottom borders. Um, but I will say one thing. We've opened a few of these boxes, and uh, I, I mean, I can't complain that centering on all of these looks really good, uh, much better than Series 1 has been. Series 1, those green parallels, I, I have yet to see one that isn't just a friggin' disaster. I don't know what they were doing in quality control, but they were taking a, a little Pakaloa break on that day, that's for sure. Those guys were high saying that those things were good to go out. Those things are terrible, um, which sucks too because it's like the it's a parallel. It's like what people are chasing. Um, Nelson Cruz, Pablo Lopez, Rafael Palmero, Yadira Molina, and an Evan White rated rookie. And give that one a quick little sleeve. That one's going to the Mariners. Going to Ryan R. And we have Butane. Walker Bueller. Nice one there. Nickname variation for the Dodgers and just Jeff. And then we have a, whoa, we have a, what is this one? This is a presidential parallel for Christian Yelich. Number four out of 50. This is a Diamond King Christian Yelich. This one's going to the Brewers, obviously. Let's see who's got the Brewers. This one's going to Matt M. And it is the presidential emoji parallel. Nice one there. That one caught me off guard there a little bit, but a nice little Lincoln and uh, Washington emojis throughout the card. Christian Yelich, numbered to 50. That's a nice pull there for Matt. Matt, congratulations on that one. Um, and then we've got Salvador Perez as a blue hollow to end that pack. Nice little yelly there. Love it. Um, so we've got the presidential emoji. Now, the one I really want to see that we haven't seen yet is the mask emoji, the COVID-19 emoji. So it's, it's a bunch of face masks, and they're all numbered to 19. A little too soon for that, I think. But, hey, if you're going to do it, do it, while the, do, do it while it's hot in the news, right? Josh Donaldson, Mike Soroka, Sosa, and it looks like we have our auto in this pack. So we're, we're about to hold this. Uh, Dominic Smith, ah, we're not holding it. We're going. Christian Pache, rookie card for the Braves. Going to Matt. We're going to find out what this auto is right now. We're not going to keep you waiting. That's a diabolical people deal. We're going to open it. I kept you guys waiting on the Luis Robert one, so I'm diabolical. <laughs> Christian Pache. All right. And in front of the Christian Pache for the Pirates, going to Brandon, we've got the Cabrian Hayes rookie, but I've got my auto behind it, so we're going to hold that. We're going to put Keith Hernandez of Seinfeld fame and a blue hollow. That one's going to the Mets. That one's going to Ryan R. And let's find out who our auto is. What's it going to be? We've already got all three of our hits. The Baez, the uh, Clark Schmidt, and our last one is going to be a Luin Diaz. And this is another blue parallel. This one's going to the Marlins. This one's going to just Jeff. And it is numbered 42 out of 99, Luin Diaz. First baseman for the Marlins. Nice blue Good looking card here with the jersey and everything. Beautiful looking card there. Luin Diaz, number 42 out of 99. Going to just Jeff. Congratulations on that one, Jeff. So we've got all of our autos out of the way. Let's get the Cabrian Hayes sleeved and top loaded. So we've got the Hayes. That one's going to Brandon. We get the Lewin Diaz. And see our card guard. This card guard is going to get way too big, way too fast. All right, so there's Cabrian. That's still got plenty of packs left. So now we're looking for whammies, and we're looking for mysterious, and we're looking for parallels, and we're looking for rookies. So plenty to find. And we're going to find parallels at the very least. We know that. All right, so here we go. Cody Bellinger. Noah Syndergaard. Fergie Jenkins. Rizzo, 
Cuss Daddy, cussed in here in short uh, name variation. Tim Anderson and a Josh Donaldson career. Now I will say, see, this is this is the first bad one we've seen all night, and this was something that happened in Donruss last year. Do you see? And what's weird is the card is like perfect. I see. Can you guys see that? I'm not sure if you can see it. Well, you can see it right there. Here, I'll get it better for you. Give me a second. Give me a second. So as we get, come on, parallels, these refractors, it doesn't know what to do with them. There we go. All right, see that at the bottom down here? Down here? It's like a, it's almost like a clip out of the card. And it's a bummer because this is a parallel. This happened on the Donruss ones last year too. This one's numbered 167 out of 225. It is a Josh Donaldson. That's going to the Twins. It's going to Nightshade Echo. Unfortunately, it's got that clip that happened, and that happened last year. That's that's a printing. I, I don't know how that happens. It almost looks like someone took takes a almost like a like a fingernail clipper to the card um, because the paper is completely gone there. Um, so it's interesting. I don't know how that happens, but I've seen that on Donruss cards in the past. So it's definitely something in the printing process. So unfortunately, unfortunately for Nightshade, that hap it happened. But if you contact Donruss, sometimes they will replace it, but they are not the best at customer service, at least compared to Topps, who's also not that good. Um, Joey Votto, but Topps is okay. DJ LeMahieu, if you're willing to spend a lot of time on the phone. Uh, we've also got an Andre Dawson, a Luke Voigt, a Roger Clemens, 354 career wins, a Nelson Cruz, and we have, oh, a beautiful one. It's our first one of the night, too. Um, first unleashed parallel, or not parallel, but insert, and it took three boxes to get one, but this is a Fernando Tatis, and it is numbered 339 out of 999. That one going to Nightshade, so makes up for the Josh Donaldson. And unleashed, Fernando Tatis Jr. That is a beautiful, beautiful, it took us three boxes to get one. I thought they were one a box, but apparently not. It's probably because I was switching them off screen, guys. <laughs> Fernando Tatis. Um, congratulations on that one, Nightshade. Um, all right, and not to be outdone, for the Twins, this is also Nightshade. We have an Alex Kirilov blue hollow rated rookie. And I got to get more penny sleeves. Hold up. We knew we were going to sleeve a lot of cards tonight. And... Let's see. All right. These got to be turned around. All right. There we go. And keep in mind, the Senzatella chase is on. All right. So the Alex Kirilov as well. So Nightshade puts the hammer down on this pack. Congratulations, Nightshade. Got an Alex Kirilov blue hollow parallel. Take that one. And, I, and we're already out of room in the card garden. I could move the box off screen. It technically already is. But it wouldn't even matter because I could take the thing down. But I think I like it. Um, okay, and then we have a Tim Anderson blue. This was actually from the last pack. I forgot to show it because I was too busy showing that Josh Donaldson. But that one's going to the White Sox. That one's going to Rebel. Unleashed. Unleashed gate. Swapping out. <laughs> Swapping them out because I've... I've got that. I've got that talent. I'm a magician. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to be mad about that for the rest of the night. I know it. <laughs> Whit Merrifield, Manny Machado, Larry Walker, Brad Keller, and there's Casey Mize, rated rookie. Take a Casey. And let's see. Let's see if we can get. Well, we'll put the Casey down here. Casey Mize, that's going to the Tigers as well. So that's going to Matt. Um, and then we got a Chris Bryant name variation, the Windy City variation. And we have a Colton Wong. This is going to be numbered 1130 out of 2021. This is going to the Cardinals. This is going to Brandon. And get more top loaders. If we're going through top loaders, we're going through penny sleeves. I knew it was going to be a big top loader night. 
you get this many numbered cards, you're going to, and this many parallels, you're going to top load a few cards. All right, so Colton Wong to 2021, going to Brandon. And our blue hollow in this pack, going to be Xander Bogarts for the Red Sox, going to Zach Poopa. Angels are awful. What in the heck? Wasting Trout's career. Chris. These cards are about as nice as an Angels playoff game. Is Trout pissed off? I don't know. I, he's got 420 million reasons not to be pissed off. And he's got a wife and a kid. I think that if you follow him on his... He, he does say, hey, we should try and make the playoffs some sooner rather than later. There's a John Means, JT Real Muto. We got John Schmoltz. And we got Shalaney throwing the hammer down. There's John Schmoltz. We got Dallas Keuchel. And there's an Alex Kirilov base. Take that one. We got the blue. We got the base. Twins coming up big for Nightshade. And that's... One thing I always like about Donruss, they, they tend to get the rookies out a little bit faster than tops. Um, I don't know if they do it on purpose or if they're just like, hey, we got the pictures, let's roll with it. But for whatever reason, they get them out a little bit sooner. We got a Garrett Cole, Chef G, and a Corbin Burns, an Independence Day parallel. That one going to the Brewers. This one's going to Matt M. So Brewers had a nice little spot here. And we've got Isaiah Kiner, Falafel. Khalifa. Blue Hollow. Here comes thumbs down number two. <laughs> How dare you not let me say whatever I want? Ah, Chris was fine. Chris was fine. He's okay. Um, he's a Halos fan. He's mad. He should be. We should make the playoffs. I agree. George Springer, Nick Ahmed. We've got Randy Johnson, Kenta Maeda, Big Puma, Lance Berkman, got a Yelich, and, ah, oh, this is a cool one, the Big Sexy, Bartolo Colon. The, that's an awesome one. I like that one. Numbered to 2021, the Big Sexy name variation. By the way, this is Bartolo Colon on the Indians, so this one's going to Rebel. Um, Colon played for a lot of different teams. Won a Cy Young with the Angels. Um, little known fact, like most people forget that he was good enough to win a Cy Young with the Angels. Um, but Big Sexy, nice 2021, nice parallel there. That's a cool card. And we have our Raphael Devers, Blue Hollow as well. And we got the, and I tell you what, something about the Sunday night trolls. Uh, Sunday night, Sunday night is a weird break night. Um, it isn't my favorite night, but I like Thursdays, man. Thursdays are the night. You get, all, you get the serious people. You get, it's a little bit of a slower night for channels, um, breaking stuff, because most people are waiting for Fridays. Thursday nights are my night. I don't mind Sundays, but. Sundays brings out a different crowd. Brings that weekend crowd out. Everyone's mad that they got to go back to work tomorrow. Jose Ramirez? I feel like we're not. There we go. Jose Ramirez. Glaber Torres. Keith Hernandez. Joey Gallo. And a Trevor Bauer Diamond King. Jazz Chisel. Nice one there for the Marlins. Going out to just Jeff. And we have a Shohei Otani, like the Shohei. That is an Independence Day parallel. That is a red, white, and blue card if I have ever seen one. So the Shohei Otani. That one going to Fensters. Fines. We've got a Charlie Blackman. That one's going to the Rockies. That's going to Rebel as well. Uh, hold on. Giovanni, hey, Echo, would you be interested in selling any of those Tatis cards? Um, I'm not. Made, made, maybe just hammer happy. <laughs> hey, that's why we give people the hammers. You guys decide who you want in here. I, I'm too busy breaking cards. Here we go. How about a Luis Robert? We didn't. Um, Do we pull any Luis Robert? Uh. 
like base cards at a break too. I know we got the relic, but um, we got the Luis Robert. There's the base. It's going to Rebel as well. Didi, David Ortiz, Miguel Rojas, Leody Tavares, rated rookie. We got Yadir Molina, and that's in the Lou, so that is a Yadir Molina uh, name variation. And we have a nice Rod Carew season stat variation or season stat line. Um, this is going to be a 332 average in 1969. This card is numbered 50 out of 332. So a nice one. And this one goes because Rod Carew played for a lot of teams. But this one is going to the Twins. So this one goes to Nightshade. As the team name on the back for this Rod Carew card, Minnesota. Nice one there, Nightshade. Nightshade making some hay with the twins. All right, and we got Jose Canseco, blue parallel. Going to the A's, that's also going to Nightshade. So Nightshade having a night. Some people hate their jobs. Doesn't everyone kind of hate their job. I mean, I get some people don't, but there's something to hate about every job. Uh, the way, the way it was told to me, I, I had a president, uh, when I was young in my career, I had a president tell me, a uh, president of the company, I was bitching about life and stuff. And he said, you know, you got to learn something about work. He goes, 20% of the work you do is the reason you want to quit. There's Brian Reynolds, Josh Bell, Paul Molitor, Adalberto Mondesi. There's a Ryan Mountcastle rookie. And then he said, the other, he goes, 20% is why you get up and keep going to work. And then he said, the other 60% is just work. Um, and then he started doing the 80-20 rule stuff on me. But he basically said, you really know if you want to keep your job or if you want to move on or find a different job, not based upon the 60% that is work, but it's really based on what are the reasons you're showing up and, you know, and just realize that most of the stuff you get higher low on, there's, there's the Mount Castle like that one, um, is part of the 60%. It's if you can't handle the 20% of the reason why you want to quit, if that becomes too big, you should probably quit, but you should never lose focus of the 20% of the reason why you keep doing it. Here's a Tony two bags, Anthony Rendon, and then Donovan Solano, and that is a that is a uh, Independence Day parallel. So if you hate your job, figure out if you hate it enough that that 20% outweighs the 20% of the reason why you show up. And then realize the other 60%, no matter where you work, you're going to have 60% that's just work. Um, and that's where you actually earn your money. And if you can figure out how to make more that 60%, more into that 20% of the reason why you keep showing up, you might find you like your job a lot more. Um, Glaber Torres, and I could use that advice now because I got stuff going on in my work right now that uh, leaves, a, leaves a, lit to be, a, a little to be desired. Um, but such is life in 2021. Um, all of us, should, if we're working, should realize there's a lot of people that aren't working right now. Um, and we should be somewhat fortunate that we have jobs. Quinn Hin Kim. Donovan Solano, there's the base. Uh, we've got the Reggie Jackson, Miguel Cabrera, Paul Molitor. There's a Bryce Harper, and we're going to have a numbered Luke Voigt for the Yankees. That one's going to be numbered 1362 out of 2021. Mike Flores, how much are breaks? Depends on what we're breaking, really. Um, this particular break was $6 um, per random team spot. But depending on what we break, I try and keep breaks as affordable as possible. Um, and I've said it a couple of times, but I'll say it one more time there. If you want to get into a break, the best way to do it, become a Patreon. Uh, there's a Patreon link above. Um, it's the pinned message in this chat. Um, but the Patreons uh, get first access to all the breaks and they normally will buy them out. Um, so that is the best way to get into a break. Um, praise boss. My morning work bells chime. Praise him for bits of overtime. Praise him for whose wars we love to fight. Praise him. For, uh, that leads to I've never heard that, God duck. That's awesome. Um, Ronaldo Nunez is our blue parallel in that pack. Yeah, it's, um, well, I, that wasn't me preaching. That was a president. That guy, you know, as I look back on my career, 
that guy taught me a lot of just the levity of work. He was at the time, probably in his early fifties. Um, and he really taught me, man, because it's easy to get really worked up about work stuff and you get high on it, you get low on it. Um, and if you can just try and stay in the middle lately, I've been getting amped up about stuff at work. So maybe it's good that I self preach that to myself. Uh, there's a Ken Griffey jr. We've got Matt Chapman, Clayton Kershaw. And for some reason, I want to say that that is a image variation, but I don't know. Uh, Miguel Cabrera. And we got a Reggie Jackson. This is an angels card. Numbered 420 out of 2021. And this is for the Angels. So this one going to Fenster's Finds. I want to travel when I'm done with school. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, so Mike, uh, you can become a Patreon as low as like $2 a month. Um, most of the guys that are in this group right now um, or in this chat are Patreons. Um, you get access to like that whole group. There's a very active group there. You get first notification on breaks. Um, if you move up in the tiers, you can get packs, you can get break credits, you can get all sorts of different things. Um, so definitely check it out. No pressure to become a patron, but would love to have you. It's a growing group, a good group, of, a good community to be part of. There's a Matt Chapman for the A's. That one's going to Nightshade as well. And we've got, let's see here. I think we got about eight more packs. So about two thirds of the way through the box. We found all the hits, but we have not found a whammy or a mysterious. Okay, here we go. Do this one. Jeff McNeil, Zach Wheeler, Ozzy Smith, Jose Barrios, Jose Ramirez, Clark Schmidt rated rookie, and a Jameer Candelario. This one's going to be numbered 1493 out of 2021. That is for the Tigers. That's going to Matt. Um, how come those timeout guys never come back? <laughs> um, cause then they, they go troll some, they probably do come back and then they, and then they thumbs down you and then they get on their burner accounts. They thumbs down you some more. And then it takes YouTube three or four days to go and figure out, Oh, those all came from the same IP address. So then your thumbs downs go away again. Um, just a, it's a lot of time, man. Uh, but I guess when you're just sitting in, I guess when you're just sitting in a basement with nothing to do, that's what you do. We got a Paul Molitor there. I like that one. So the Paul Molitor for Cream City says it again. The Paul Molitor Cream City for the Brewers. I kind of like how it says that. I wonder if it says it on all of them, or I wonder if that's a variation. Okay, Steel City with a $5 super chat. Thank you very much. My contribution to the Dustin's early retirement fund. Steel City, thank you very much for your generosity. And yes, uh, funny you mentioned retirement because I did my I, I did my civil duty and paid taxes today. Um, and I normally do my own taxes. My I I my life isn't that complicated that I can't do it myself. But my wife and I were looking at our retirement stuff, going, "We're never going to retire." <laughs> so thank you for the donation. After today and seeing where I'm at, it's like. Um, I'm halfway there. I should probably have more money. <laughs> so I need all I can get. I appreciate it, Steel City. And thank you very much for your generosity. We've got an Albert Pujols. We've got a Jose Canseco. And a Ronald Acuna Jr. Mike Flores. Nightshade says, I, I, wish, I, I wish I had a basement. Um, you guys can still hear me, right? I'm assuming you can still hear me. Um, Last audio. I don't think that's me. It looks like my mic is working. Let me know one way or the other, guys. Uh, we've got a Sam Huff. We really don't want to start a new stream this late in this stream. And here we go. We've got a Bo Bichette, the six variation. Going to the Blue Jays. That's going to Fenster. And we have a nice Mookie Betts highlights. This is our first highlight card we've seen all night. Uh, all night. Three home runs in one game. All right, cool. Hey, Jay Harrison, how you doing? Um, we've got the 150 out of 249 Mookie Betts going to, to the Dodgers. That's going to just Jeff. Nice one there. Nice little Mookie. Pull on like, what do they call that? The Rapture. I think that's the Rapture parallel. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. I've never been good with Panini, how they name their 
parallels. Uh, let's see if I can get one more card in the card garden back here. The Mookie Betts going deep. All right, there we go. And then we have a Diamond Kings, Bryce Harper for the Phillies. That is a blue hollow. That one going to Brandon. All right, next pack. Jay Harrison, yep. Uh, checking out all the goodies. Yes, we. Um, this is our third box. Right, this box has been a little bit different than the last two. Um, just in, like, we've gotten, we finally got a, our first Unleashed. I'm surprised it took that long. Co Corbin Burns, Yu Darvish, Ricky Henderson, Dylan Bundy, Andreas Jimenez, rated rookie. That's going to the Mets. Then we have Fernando Tatis Jr. We have another trending. So Tatis Jr. Slam Diego. And if I'm not mistaken, we've already got that one in a blue. So now we've got the base. And I feel like we did that twice. Nice one there, Fernando. So I believe that's this guy, right? Yeah. It is. Let's put it back there. And then we've got a sweet, oh, this is a low numbered one too. A gold trending Dustin May for the Dodgers. And this one is numbered, let's see if I can get this right. Um, 92 out of 99. Can you guys see? Yeah, there you go. 92 out of 99. That is a beautiful looking card. Um, I mean, if it's not called a rapture, I'm going to call it a rapture because that thing could take you away. <laughs> but a beautiful Dustin May. Goth Duck with the 499 Super Chat. For the trolls, we must learn to live together as brothers or we are going to perish together as fools. Ain't you, you ain't lying about that. Appreciate the Super Chat, Goth Duck. And I appreciate the generosity and truer words by a man that was very wise could not be spoken. So Dustin May, by the way, this one right here, going to just Jeff. And we're running out of room in this card garden quick. And our last one is going to be a Kess Daddy for the Brewers. Name variation. Going to Matt. Mookie might honestly be my favorite player in the MLB. Yeah, um, Mookie is... <laughs> Mookie is fun to watch. Um... Did you see Adele hit that wall yesterday, Austin? Uh, Kevin G uh, Gausman, uh, Nolan Arenado, Clemens, Johnny Cueto. Don't feel like we've seen Cueto at all tonight. Uh, Matt Chapman, and we've got a rated rookie, Luis Garcia, and a Jeff McNeil for the Mets. This one's going to be numbered 677 out of 2021. And there's Jeff. Goody got his first Adele. What Adele did you get, Goody? So there's Jeff McNeil. By the way, this one going to Ryan R. Ryan, congrats on the McNeil to 21. McNeil, one of the guys I think is, although he is not having that great of a spring, but I think he's going to be just fine. We've got Joey Gallo. Blue. Getting down to our last packs. I think we got three to go. All right, so here we go. And I owe Austin, I've owed Austin a list for two weeks. Um, I keep saying I'm going to send him one, and then I don't send him one. What a jerk I am. Um, so um, he's going to get, he's going to give all those Adele's away if I don't send him a list pretty soon. Um, okay, here we go. Xander Bogarts, Isaiah Kiner, Falafel, Bo Jackson, Renato Nunez, The Dominator. Love that one. Anthony Rizzo. And we have a Ronaldo Nunez, and this is going to be out of 2021, 242 out of 2021. This one going to the Orioles, going to Brandon. Brandon, congrats on that one. Dream Inc. is Mookie Inc. You know, you don't see Mookie sign a lot of cards either. Um, 2021 flagship. So you got the rookie. Congrats on that one. I like the Joe Adele rookie flagship. And we got a Chris Bryant blue. All right, so our next pack. Gonna be a Verdugo, Javier Baez, Dale Murphy, Brandon Woodruff, 
There's the Mike Trout. We're saying that's an image variation, but I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. But regardless, it keeps showing up in that spot, so it may be. But that one going to Fenster. We got Jake Flaherty. And we have a rated rookie, Christian Javier, Independence Day parallel for the Astros going to James. So, James, congrats on that one. Stack Pat Matt, have a fantastic evening. Thanks for getting in the break. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Um, hope you have a great week as well. Appreciate you, and we will talk to you next time. Have a fantastic evening. There's the Christian Javier, and we have a Albert Pujols blue as well. I barely remember this morning. Um, yeah, Austin, you, you go. He's fine, but they took him off the field. And then he said he felt something. So Joe Adele might be injured. They're saying he's not, but we'll see. And of course, in true Panini fashion, the last pack is going to give me troubles opening. Okay, here we go. Last pack mojo, guys. Again, thanks for everyone that got in the break. Let's see what we can get. We're going to go. Raphael Devers. Dwight Gooden. Jesus Luzardo. Raphael Devers. Nate Pearson, rated rookie. Nice one there for Toronto. Going to Fenster. And we hadn't had one all box, but we got one. It is the Liberty Emoji Parallel. This is Josh Donaldson. Again, for that twin spot for Nightshade Echo. So we get the Josh Donaldson, which maybe makes up for this, where we had the you know, nail clipper incident. So now we get the Josh Donaldson there. So we double up there on the parallels. Then we have a Christian Yelich, numbered 1791 uh, out of 20. 21 for the Brewers, which is Matt. So that Brewer spot's been real nice to Matt as well. So the Christian Yelich, Diamond King Red, which is interesting when you put red on purple. Kind of an interesting mix. Tough to print, that's for sure. And our last card, very nice last pack. Gonna be for Rebel. That's a Luis Robert Blue Hollow parallel so rebel comes out of that white sock spot with the robert blue that's a sweet looking card right there congrats on that one rebel and that is going to be break number three if you give me a second here i will show you the hits from break number three all these boxes kind of all each have their own different little flair but we've hit plenty of rookies of course you get plenty of parallels and whatnot um, but let's see, we had a few good low-numbered ones in this box. And remember, our relics and everything kind of came out right at the beginning. Um, all right, so let's see what we got here. Let's uh, do this. And we kind of doubled up on a few cards, which was kind of neat. Um, we'll see. Lots, uh, actually, now that I'm looking, we got lots of low-numbered stuff. Um, All right, so let's go. What else do we have? What else did we have here? Okay, so we got, like I, like I said in the last one, you can always tell how good a break is by how many top loaders a break are used. Unless they're one of those people that break so fast, they don't top load stuff as they go. It scares me. Um, okay, so here we go. Luis Robert. And that's a blue parallel. We got a Christian Yelich, red to 2021. Christian Javier, rated rookie, Independence Day parallel. Ronaldo Nunez to 2021. Jeff McNeil to 2021. Jameer Candelario to 2021. Nice Reggie Jackson here to 2021. Luke Voigt to 2021. One of my favorite ones of the box, the Big Sexy to 2021. Big Bart. And a Colton Wong to 2021. Casey Mize, base rookie, Cody Bellinger to 2021, and a Bam Bam, Brandon Lau, to 2021 for the Rays. And we had a trending insert. This one was numbered 92 out of 99 for Dustin May. Very nice looking card right there. Beautiful. Just a beautiful card. 
uh, the Rod Carew career, uh, or not career, the season stats parallel. This one is numbered 50 out of 332 for Rod Carew. That one's going to the Twins. A Ryan Mountcastle base rookie. A Josh Donaldson Liberty parallel. And that has the, this one has the mini Apple name variation. Then we have the Josh Donaldson uh, career 225 home runs, numbered 167 out of 225. Christian Pache, a rated rookie base. Alex Kirilov, rated rookie blue hollow and base. We've got a Mookie Betts highlights. This is a blue parallel, numbered 150 out of 249. Just a beautiful blue rapture. I'm assuming that's like the blue rapture. Um, and then we have the Mike Soroka trending. And this one's numbered uh, 537 out of 999. And then we have a Christian Yelich. So this is our second parallel of the Diamond King. This one is the um, this one is the presidential parallel, numbered four out of fifty. Nice one there of Christian Yelich. We did get the Cabrian Hayes rated rookie. We got the Fernando Tatis Blue Hollow Slam Diego variation and the base Slam Diego variation. A blue Ronald Acuna Jr. and we have an Andreas Jimenez Blue Hollow rated rookie. And the Fernando Tatis Jr. Unleashed Parallel, cool looking card here, number 339 out of 999. Our auto was our, our was this, I think this, yeah, this is our second auto. It was Lu, uh, Luan Diaz, and this one's numbered 42 out of 99. Blue Parallel there for the Marlins. We got a Clark Schmidt Signature Series auto, and Finally, we have the Javier Baez pulled it in the very first pack. That is our relic with a nice little Cubs pinstripe on there. That one um, went out to miles. So thank you, everyone, that got into break number three. Fun, fun night. I love opening up Donruss. It's always a fun break. So thank you very much, guys, for all of you that got in. Um, spent a ton of time today getting the TTMs ready. So Goody, Goody has been on the TTM train um, if you're on Discord, he posts them all the time. Um, he knows how to do it. Definitely a solid card garden, Brandon. I, um, I, I like breaking Don Russ. I mean, I get that there's the people out there that say no logos, no way. Um, but like I said, it's a fun, it's a fun set. It always has been. It, it's, it's nostalgic. It has a, it has a bunch of parallels. Um, so yeah, very fun. Um, I probably will be posting in the next couple of days. If anyone, because a couple people have already expressed interest in personal boxes, um, I'll probably post some up there and hopefully kind of keep my price on par with what you would find online or on eBay. Um, but the difference is, is I'll actually break the box and you'll get top loaders and you'll get it shipped and everything else for that price. Um, you get a bunch of penny sleeves and whatnot and you can do whatever you want with those once you get them. <laughs> so, so there's that. Um, and you get them broke live. So, and then next week, so next week I am, there's a lot happening in the card world next week. You've got, let's see, you've got Inception coming out on Wednesday. So I did put my review on it. Inception has a nuts um, autograph checklist. However, a little bit of a higher end product. So I think what I'm going to do is figure out how to get that into a mixer break. I did not buy a lot of it. Um, maybe I should have, I just, the price creep on it, I, it's hard to justify. Um, but I do think it will work good as a mixer break. You've also got tops opening day coming out next week, um, which I'm going to be posting a review on that here later this week, but that comes out on Friday. So I might do like a Don Russ opening day inception mixer, which I think would be pretty cool. Um, and still be kind of affordable. So that's what I think I'm going to have on tap. Be on the lookout for the um, opening day um, set guide and review. That'll, you know, probably Tuesday that that will come out. Um, I haven't recorded it yet. That's the problem. But that actually has some fun cards in it as well. So Nightshade, you are welcome. And Teresa, thank you for hanging out again. Yeah, that haze is going to be fantastic. I hope you have a good week too, Teresa. Um, just Jeff, have a fantastic evening. And um, to all of you guys, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, Nightshade, uh, eight, eight hits, take that take that to the bank for sure. So um, that's what will be happening next week. Um, and then uh, next Sunday, we have the first draft. I believe it's 
actually Bray, it's actually um for the one cent fantasy draft, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it is League B. It's not League A, but it's gonna be League B that is drafting. Um I could have that backwards, but I'm pretty sure it's League B that is drafting. That'll be next Sunday at 9 p.m. I may live stream it. I don't know if it would be the greatest of live streams, um, but maybe um, we'll figure it out. But either way, I will be sending reminders about all of that stuff. And hopefully we um, there's a chat and everything that we can do on there. So should be fun to uh, do that draft with the group. And then we, the following week, the other league will draft. I believe that's on the 28th. That'll be right before the season starts. So lots of stuff happening um, to all of you that joined on to um, Patreon tonight. Thank you very much for that. And um, let's see, we're at 1219. It's a school night for my kids. So I should probably get to bed. Um, so until the next time we do this, guys, uh, like I said, be on the lookout for my uh, opening day review. It's a little bit of it's a little bit of a surprising set. Uh, Jolly Oyster, you have been hanging out all night. I very much appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, found a little bit of entertainment and a great way to spend your Sunday evening. And to wrap up, I want to say thank you to everyone that got into the breaks tonight. Thank you, especially to all of the patrons, and thank you to all of you that were. Um, Hanging out in the stream tonight. Definitely a fun night. So, hope you all are having fantastic luck on your personal pack polls. And as always, I hope you are being good to your family, being good to your friends, and being good to your neighbors. And now more than ever, that is really important. Uh, stay safe out there. And until next time, guys, thank you and take care. <laughs>